parts electric Parts start to decay When just your shadow happens Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again. The fuck's wrong with them? I don't understand. Maybe it will pass by. Someone save me for a pass out. I'm too lonely to be done. I'm a drink at this page. Option to be someone else, I would. And like all of you, I know that I'm obvious. Fuck it, I made this way. But why didn't I stay when I had the chance? Maybe it will pass by. Someone save me for a pass out. I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this pace. See you. 
I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. Everything we got, give it an honest shot, turning it on and off with been sliding, riding the highest dream, keeping the fire real. I call for you. Hold your gun, cut the wire, aim for fun, with a light your fire.
Hello, everybody. Ah, oh, it's Sunday. Now we're ready. Now we're ready. I'm pumped. Hello. How are you? Grab your coffees. Let's have some fun. My headphones just cut out. That's a perfect start to the morning. We were on time. Everything was good. Straight into a Hulk yoga. Why the hell not, my friends, eh? Why the hell not? Oh, oh, I do love what it does to this shirt. I'm never going to get bored of what Hulk yoga does to this shirt, my friends. It is terrific. Hello, everybody. How are we this morning? Oh, dearie me. Um, yes, I think I saw someone mention Bolton. So, yeah, Bolton's been up since uh, Tuesday, I think. Um, it's classic YouTube sub box bonanza there. Oh, Anonymous. Oh, that reminds me, actually. Anonymous, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Danny, as well as to the gifted sub to just another Chelsea fan. That is extremely generous of you, man. You really don't have to do that. Now, followers, who have we got? I saw some new ones in there, too. Yes, Ruru, Pinoski, uh, Utilitwitch, and Divad. Thank you for the followers, guys. That is awesome. Oh, I don't know if it was a shot that Trump's were relegated, to be honest. Um, my familiarity with them is not what it should be. Uh, I hope to change that over the time. Can you swim in the waterfall? I mean, any vo you can swim in any waterfall if you're brave enough. You could go down Niagara Falls in a barrel if you really want to. I think some, some woman did it once, I believe. Don't know how well it went, but there we go. Hello, everybody. How are we this morning? PS5 arriving today. Very good news. I'm probably going to get one in about two and a half years. Uh, when they drop to about 250 pounds, that's when I'll hop on the train, my friends. I did it with the PS4. I did it with the PS3. And I will continue my tradition. Yeah, how are we all this morning? Trumps until I die should be at... Oh, my God. I'd watch the shit out of that. Let me just turn this music down a tiny little bit. It's always nice to have it nice and loud when we start, but... Till I... Oh, I like that a lot, actually. So, yeah. So far, actually. Give... Actually, what we'll do is we'll play this first game. That way we can get into things and just chill. The moment we get out of this first game, someone remind me and I'll do a little rundown of kind of what's happened so far. Because to be fair, what's happened so far is fairly straightforward, really. Um... Put in random tactic that's 4-4-2 to start off with. End up winning loads of games to start with with a striker banging in goals. And then sort of start to tail off a little bit. And now here we are. That's basically where we're at. I know West Brom won. Like, I'm happy for them. But I'm also really angry as a Fulham fan. It's not all we needed right now. Oh, oh there you go. There's the league table. So, yeah, we're six points clear at the top of uh, Lillstrom. We've got eight points gap over Kongsvinger. Um, if Kev turns up, don't say anything. Uh... <laughs> Super Sunday starts now. Exactly. Sent a, gra a, a grand building my new PC. Oh, Mahoney. You've got it. You can't just drop something like that in the chat and not tell us what you got. What specs did you get, man? Wombler with the six month resub. What is Pochamps in Norwegian? We're still Keep waiting for a, a, one of our Norwegian brothers to tell us uh, what Pochamps could possibly be. As Espy's in there and it's 1 0 Tromsø. Come on. Oh, what a lovely moment. That's finally happened. I'm going to get battered by Leicester. Honestly, I actually think that it's going to be one of those games where it looks like Fulham will get battered and it'll be like 1-0 Leicester. We'll still lose, don't get me wrong. I just don't think it'll be quite as embarrassing as perhaps it has been lately. But at the end of the day, it don't matter, does it? Still lose. <laughs> uh, back to 17th. Uh, imagine if like we stayed up with like 15 points or something. Because <laughs> it feels like one of those seasons where someone genuinely could do that. Yeah, look at these blue lines. Check this out. Very different, isn't it? Big fan of that. Oh, what a ball. Azimi's in. Or square it. SB's through again. He's scored another one. Hello again. This is like... He's rolling back the years. So, those of you that may have missed the first couple of Tromso streams, Runa Espjord, he got 11 goals in his first four league games for the club. He's on like 18 now, after 22. But this is how he used to start, just bundling his way through and scoring over and over. B plays. Thank you for the follow. Feltskin. Feltskin sounds amazing. That just sounds like a hat. I'd wear that. Ugh. Can't stay up without 40 points. I know. Imagine that, eh? I think Fulham have stayed up multiple times without 40 points. Oh, surely not. Oh, it's three. Daniel Burnson. Okay, well, what were we worried about? Um, I guess. It does make... Yeah, well, oh yeah, they're very professional. They were in the top flight uh, last year. Do you think the partner will get sacked? No, no chance. Not unless we're, like, rooted to the bottom of the table with four points in, like, March. Like, if we still have, like, four points in March, then maybe. But, honestly, Fulham could go down and Parker would keep his job. Somet do you ever get this, guys? And I'm sure you do. Do you ever feel like sometimes you just need to not save reload, but just reload the game? Do you know what I mean? Like where it feels like you're resetting something and everything just feels like it's normal again. Because I feel like we had a very weird stream on um, Thursday. It was very strange. Pete JK. Thank you for the follow, man. Hope you're well. 3600 RTX 2060. Nice. Beef. Oh, B540. Wow, that's quite a beefy power supply, actually. 
Or is it? Hang on, I'm trying to think which I've got. One terabyte SSD, M.2. Nice. I have an M.2 and, an S and a standard SATA one because I had already bought the um the normal one and then I found a really, really good deal on a 512 M.2 for like 40 quid. It was insane. That's pretty solid, man. I have a... Is that the Ryzen 3600? I assume it is. Otherwise, it would be. That's a good finish, actually, from... Uh, it's Kent Erickson again. Bloody Kent Erickson. We're top of the league. Uh, see, oh, we... Uh, yeah, I do wish... I still wish that they'd let you see more information. So we're playing Sanders Ulf, who are in t 11th right now. So they're sort of lower league table. Does Parker wear a Parker? Sadly not. Yes, yeah, so M actually managed to talk about saves coming. No, no, that's not what I said. I said sometimes literally just turning the game off and switching it back on again, it feels like you get like a fresh start almost. That's what I meant. FM21 is too easy. I mean, I don't really know what that means. Like... <laughs> It, you can make it as hard or as easy as you like, really. That's the point about it, frankly, I find. Like anything, with FM, it's a single-player game. You can control how hard or difficult it is by depending on what you do. Oh, oh. Oh, I thought the keeper was going to muck that up then. No FM update today. I don't believe so, Will. I'm not sure. Reset the luck modifier. Yeah, I'm sure that doesn't actually exist. Um, but you do wonder at times, don't you? Like, it's really easy to think, then. Killing the Norwegian League. Yeah. We don't know. I mean, to be fair, Tromsø are one of the better sides in this division. Oh, God. Horvath starts through again. And oh, wow. We were 3-0 we up in this game. And now Ole Marcus Horvath is making it 3-2. Ooh. Okay. 44 goals with Lacazette in the first season for Leeds. To be fair, the 44 goals isn't the bit that makes me worry. It's the fact that they got Lacazette at Leeds in the first season. That makes me suspicious more than anything else. <laughs> oh, wait, hey. The end of the day, mate. That's... <laughs> I can't really say much to that. If you find it easy, that's... Yeah, that's just how it is, isn't it, really? It's a subjective thing. That's why I'm quite happy to play that absolutely batshit system with Bolton, because it makes it harder. Oh, my God, my headphones are going fucking crazy today. They keep cutting out. It's starting to get quite annoying, actually. <laughs> Guinness, thank you for the follow, man. Classic dilemma. Looking at a new striker, has a guy with good stats but never scores. Yeah, in it, though. Tristan Whitman with the five-month Twitch Prime sub hype for you, my friend. How are you, my man? I honestly think we could probably stay up currently on this save and like with the team we currently have. Although, yeah, the bowling masterclass is coming up here. This is good. We're getting there. Right. I'm still up with the performance, but to be fair, we did only score like we scored like our first three shots on target. So perhaps there's a, you know, an element of that in it too. Uh, Gonzalo Gamer. Thank you very much for the follow, my man. If we could just get back to like Oh, Christ. There we go. Ball through. Azimi needs to finish now. And he's in. And he finishes. There we go. Fit him, Azimi. He's fitting it in. He's got 17. Considering how bad he was in, like, the first 10 games of the season, he's basically been carrying this team on his shoulders for about the last 15 matches now. And I'm really proud of the lad, to be fair. <clears throat> Has a recording on it. <laughs> I don't know who Palulu is. And I don't know who we're requesting that for. Uh, bear in mind, I know nothing about FM Wonder Kids. I almost deliberately avoid them. Almost to the point of, like stubbornness now. Actually, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. I think we deserve our lead. Good morning, Skullzy. Ooh, League's Mega Pack. Hang on. Which one? As in the... The one by... Is it Timo? Because that's the one I used last year for Outcast to Icons, and his pack was really, really solid. In the previous years, I've used Klassen's one, but he seems to have stopped making them these days. Yeah, I like Timo's stuff. Oh, crap. Oh, ooh, good goalkeeper there. Through a building connection with Finland. Nice. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, I, I don't know. I feel like FM is as hard or as difficult, or hard or as easy as you want it to be in many ways. So, oh, shite. He's through again. Wow. Like, that's why I'm actually quite enjoy. I feel like there's much more optimal tactics we could play with Bolton. Um, But I don't really care because I want to play something fun. And I feel like there's nothing more fun than the system we're currently using. And there's also some changes I want to make to it when I record tonight's video which I think is going to make it even better, hopefully. Because there's one really glaring, obvious error in it that someone pointed out to me on Discord, and I couldn't believe I didn't notice it sooner. Oh, that's a decent strike. Overachieving with Alta. Nice. You've you still got Morgan's Pedersen. Everyone wonder kids. Matt is careful to me. <laughs> oh, we should try and sign him. Scandies can combine. They make one giant, like, Megazord of Scandies. Hey, Wolfie. How are you, man? Oh, so you liked the uh, the Polonia save, Guinness. That's awesome. We're going to try and do... Well, hopefully, complete it this time. That's the plan. Uh, no, I'm not using the Zealand uh, pack yet because 
Firstly, I haven't had a chance to actually implement it, but the main... Oh, we haven't many subs yet. Uh, oh, no, I did. I did. The main reason, though, is because there aren't any regions... Because of the way the system works, you have to have regions in the game and then run the software to actually implement them. And there probably isn't enough regions yet to actually make it worth doing. What I'll do is when we... Um, when we get our use intake, at that point, then the next stream, I will have run the pack so we actually get the cool faces on our uh, players. That's how I'm going to do it for both saves, basically. But it's cool the way you can make different profiles for it. That is sick. Bottling coming. I don't know. We're 4-2 up now. At one point, it was looking a bit like that, though, I've got to say. But the thing is, Black Area, right? With the exception of being in the middle of nowhere, from what I've heard from people, and I've seen pictures of the Alfheim, it actually doesn't look dissimilar to the real stadium. And that's a rarity. Oh, go on, SB. Yes, Runa Esbjord scores his hat trick. Oh, it's you love to see it, man. That's awesome. Yonmon, Olbs, Tyler Morris. Thank you for the follows, guys. You big legends. Ian McBollock's checking in. Oh, God. I really want to find a player whose name is similar to that, just so we can rename him, you know? Had to be done. Hello there. Oh, it's so clever. That the the neural network AI stuff that he's done. Or not I mean, Zealand obviously facilitated it, but it's still a phenomenal piece of work just in general. Like, that is just outrageous work. It's brilliant. The stepbrother's half Swedish. Oh god, Hobbit has through a get the cheek of it. Wow. That's insane. Norwegian Messi. Hell yes. Hello, Dylan. <clears throat> well, the thing is, right, that's a pretty good result. We were pretty good in this game. I was looking at our finances. We are not in great shape right now. Uh, so promotion is very, very important to us. And yeah, that's all I can really say. Wow, they're really complacent. You were winning, lads. But though, getting SP back in form is about as good as I could possibly... I wonder what it does with their twins. Yeah, I mean, that's something that you're just never going to be able to facilitate for. And I think to expect that would be a bit much. Um, I think it's just a phenomenal piece of work, to be honest. Azimi. Oh, we got three assists. Bloody hell. Fair play. I did not see that. So yeah, Espiel's back to being joint top scorer. And I think we actually did pull a gap because Lilstrom dropped points against uh, the YMCA. So that helps us out tremendously. We're in a much better position now. A lot of people liked Polonia. <clears throat> I'm glad that that one went down well because when you, it's always a, a risk doing a kind of niche team on YouTube. It just is, unfortunately. Uh, some of you may have seen Ben talking about this on Twitter the other day, and I completely agree, unfortunately. One of those things you'll often get is people saying that YouTubers only play in England, and unfortunately, it's because people mostly only watch saves based in England, uh, unfortunately. Uh, but that's why Twitch is good because we can do shit like this, and it's fun. <clears throat> The insane through ball to the opposition goalkeeper. I've seen a few of them, and I would like to see a tiny little bit less, but it's still pretty good. Found a way to make AI teams improve their facilities. Um, not to my knowledge. I am actually tempted to make a video to see if I can try to replicate what I did with Blackhaven, but without actually playing in the game, because I want to see if it can be done again, or whether that was just like a complete fluke. <clears throat> His rise has been mad, but he deserves it. Like, he has set out a blueprint as what content creators can do. He took things to a level that people didn't think was there. And that's awesome. <coughs> Trump's at your parent club. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. I'll, I'll talk to my director of uh, loans and see if he'll sort you out. Can't get the UI thing to work, so I have to assign the picks myself. Ouchie. Uh, it does. It is a little bit complicated, but at the end of the day, I still think it does a bloody good job. I mean, I I'll let you know when I've actually tried it myself, but it looks fairly straightforward once you kind of get there. Oscar Peterson. Maybe, but we've got very little money. And at the moment, I don't really want to be... Well, we can't sign anyone because we're not in a window, but... Oh, we do have a regen. Oh, yeah, we got a couple right at the start, didn't we? Oh, well. What are the other issues? And someone might know the answer to this. The way you obviously do it is you select a load of players and export a shortlist, essentially, which it then uses to implement the pictures. But you have to do that, unless you've got the editor turn on, which, of course, I don't. So you have to do that by setting, like, age parameters. And the problem... what. I might have is what happens if you accidentally have real players in there because of the age parameters would include a couple of real players does it then replace the pictures of real players because that's the thing i'm mostly worried about if i'm honest guys so if you actually do know the answer to that then let me know the different things i, I realize that picard but um it unfortunately isn't enough of a selling point a lot of the time as far as youtube is concerned which is why i'm actually tempted i'm going to record tonight's bolton episode in 3d um, because I want to try and see what that, how that works. Because people seemed up for it, some people didn't. So we'll see how many people actually, you know. Hope yoga is less than normal yoga. Shit, yes, I forgot to uh, switch that one back, unfortunately. It's been a bit hectic lately. I've been desperately trying to get back onto, like, a normal schedule. And I'm still not quite there yet. Hence why I have to record a Bolton video directly after this stream. But after that, 
I should be... Oh, he's out of contract. Oh, okay. Right, never mind. Let's try and have a look at this now. What was it? Oscar Peterson. Oh, my God. I wish you could just go straight back. Acropolis. Hmm. We'd have to play him through the middle. I'll get a scout report on him, even though it'll cost us. Oh, no, it won't. I guess that's because he's Swedish. Interesting. Five Luxembourg leagues. Things you love to see. Hey, Brad. Nicola Amini. Would he sign for someone like us? So it hasn't replaced real players. Okay. I mean, it's one of those things where I'm starting to think that the lack of 3D might be might have been holding the channel back. For a while, I figured it was kind of like a unique selling point, which is fine. But since doing streams, I've kind of come to realize that people still seem to like the content I'm putting out when we're playing in 3D. And I'm starting to... I find the 3D match engine is good enough this year to the point where I could actually tolerate playing in it full time. Because it just looks way good, to be honest. I, I actually really, really like it. I'd still have to use 2D sometimes when I'm doing tactics stuff because you can see a bit better in 2D. Does anyone else remember back in the old days, there was another version of 2D that it was like a cross between the two where it was like a different version of 2D. It was really, really weird. Just keep the highlights 3D instead of 2D. I, I never do the highlights in 2D. I've never done highlights in 2D as far as I know. Um, I've only ever used um, 3D highlights for the actual highlights themselves. That might be a good idea, Dave. Actually, yeah, that's a solid idea, David. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah, okay, fair play. You win. Yeah, David there coming up with a winning strategy. Particularly is some players may not show up in the player search due to your scouting knowledge. That's a really good idea, David. I hope I remember that. Mr. Beanball. That sounds good. Does it involve brushing your teeth while in a mini? Because I'm up for that. Oh, the replays of goals should always be 3D. I mean, that's always what I do anyway. Uh, my debate was not over the replays. It was the highlights themselves. Season review of this save. Um, so I'm going to be putting the streams on a second channel. That's about as much as I can do. Because I mean, maybe I can make little... Maybe. I I'm going to be putting the stream highlights. Not even the highlights. The streams on a separate channel soon. Uh, I still have to make that channel. I just haven't had the time. But... Oh, the cheeky keeper. He is the cheeky keeper. Holy shit. But after that, I should be able to make little like end of season reviews. So actually, that's not a bad idea. Uh, and I can put those on the main channel. How about that? Classic 2D. Yeah. Yeah, it was called Classic 2D or something. It was really weird. I remember because for a while, I swear Golden FM used it at times. That's where I remember seeing it. I remember he streamed. I was watching a stream of his once and he was playing in that. Oh, go on, Runa. How do we get away with that? <clears throat> One billion transfer budget. That's quite a lot. That is quite a lot. Yeah, we, um, we used that system a lot on the last save because we... <laughs> He just got fouled while he was making a tackle. Go on, fit him. Make it two, lad. It's a tough one. He's through. Fit him, Azimi. What a finish. And it's 2-0 against... Uh, what did I call these guys? Studio Ghibli. That's right. The goal he does. Um, bearing in mind, this is the goalkeeper that did the back-heeled uh, clearance in the last stream. What a lad. Do you want another coffee? Yes, I do. What camera angle do I use? Uh, hang on. I might be able to show you here. So, TV. And these are my settings, basically. I like the TV camera more this year because it has that cool pivot that they didn't have before. And the zoom is a little bit more smooth. Big fan. Gonna miss F1s. I know. What time does it start, Damien? I might be able to have it on the TV. Because it's quite a big episode of Bolton tonight. So it might take me a little while. I don't know how I'm going to get it done. But I'm liking it. I'm liking this recording closest to the time. It means that I get to take things into account way quicker. It's great. Uh, oh, Mr. Rich C. Thank you very much for the follow. 210. Uh, yeah, probably am then. Unfortunately. Is it is it Bahrain this week? Who who got pole? Go on, chat. Don't spoil it for me. What was it Lewis Hamilton by any chance? Oh, the reason I don't use director is because it changes too much. I like director for highlights for like the, the goals after they've been scored, but I don't like it when it's in play because it's just a bit all over the place. That was a yes for coffee, yes. Whew. They have don't no they don't, do they? Hang on a minute. Is it the same one though? Because there's a few guys with that name. Holy shit, they actually bloody do. It's Matthias Fyotov Lervik. My boy. He is not the most agile of men, is he? Just gonna put him on the older, shorter my list. If there's ever a chance to pick someone like this up, I'd happily take it, you know. I love me some Matthias Fyotov Lervik. Who was it we had? Was it Stockport where we had Fyotov Lervik? Or was it Polonia? 
Oh, True Blue with the seven month resub. My man, thank you so much, man. Sub hype for you, my friend. Casey5064, thank you for the follow as well. Yeah, no. I mean, to be fair, it's a pretty. Uh, yeah, look how the, look what they did to my boy. It was not County. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Danny was asking earlier, and I think he might be right because Danny's now been gifted eight subs to the channel. I've only been streaming for eight months, and every single month Danny has received a gifted sub. Is there anybody else in chat who's received that many gifted subs in this channel? Because I feel like Danny's probably the record holder, and he may well be forever more at this rate. But I'm just interested. That's awesome. You ledge. So I'm like, oh, 75 million. Six months worth. Still pretty good, Damien, to be fair. Uh, we played well. I'm going to give him a bit of the older. Four months. That's still pretty good. Hey. A lot of my conceded goals come from stitches. Um, I'm not sure what stitches means, Krista. Uh, I think that might be the wrong word, but I'm not sure. Um, do you mean crosses, maybe? Because we can definitely help. Well, I, I might not be able to, but chat might. <laughs> Go on, Nilsson. Slip it through for Esme. Let's have a third goal. He's in. He slips it around the side for Azimi. And it's in off the post. It's 3-0. And Fitim Azimi scored again. Bernie Sanders, no. He missed about three months' worth of subs, sadly. Uh, he is back on the sub train now, though. The people who gave you the subs are the version. This is very true. Hey, get scout report. I, I've got, is there something shorter I can call you? GSR, perhaps. Or do you have a, a proper name that we could call you? I think you were alluding to you formed on Discord. Oh, so basically, uh, assuming you relate to Bolton Gray. So, you know how I have an inverted wingback uh, in that absolute batshit system? Um, basically, when I was building that tactic up, because I hadn't, I hadn't been able to actually test it in any matches, I'd had my wingback set to look for overlap, or rather the instruction, but obviously I had an inverted wingback on the right. So I was looking for overlap with an inverted wingback, and I feel like turning that to either look for underlap or just turning it off might actually immediately make the tactic more sound without me even doing anything. So that that's what I was alluding to. Um, it was pointed out to me on Discord, and I was just like, just one of those moments where you're just like, I am an idiot. I get those a lot, basically. Oh, in like the half space. Um, I think, yeah. Oh, that's a good strike. So, unfortunately, that could be many different factors. Um, what I would say is it do I do actually like seeing goals like that because it's a bit more realistic for me. You see a lot more like those cutting inside the uh, fullback passes. I like them a lot. Do you need, uh, not really yet, Wolfie, but we probably are going to need to soon when the season finishes because a lot of these players are low knees and... We haven't been able to negotiate new deals for a lot of them. I do feel like one position we're going to have to go for is striker. I feel like centre-backs with some of the ageing players we might need to look at, as well as wingers. We've got Mr. Seaman uh, Santos here, which is fine. I don't know. We'll do a big deal. What I would say is, has anyone noticed how the um, short-term focuses for scouting seems to be a bit all over the shop, where it feels like you can only set one now? And I'm not sure I really like that. Either that or the UI is a little bit glitched. Because it seems to, every time I put one in, if I then go back into it, it seems to delete the old one, uh, which is a bit annoying. So maybe that's just me that's noticed that, but I do find that a bit strange. I mean, sometimes you just can't stop them. Uh, but I mean, one of the things you could do would be to sit with a deeper line because there's less space in behind. Hello there. Uh, Harris Yeet, thank you for the follow, mate. Hope you're having a lovely Sunday morning. Are we on Sunday morning? Yes, we are. Cool. Well, that's what I mean, Gray. So they wouldn't be overlapping anyway as an inverted wing back because there's no... They can't... They would be going inside. So I'm either going to put him on... Uh, look for underlap or um, just leave it and see what happens. To be fair, that system is all over the shop. So, oh my God. True blue with the five gifted as it looks like we're about to concede right as he did that. And the keeper doesn't stop it, but it doesn't matter because Julian... Not Julian. Uh, sorry. True blue with the five gifted subs. That's incredible, man. Thank you so much. Lloydy, up the wrecks of Arrow, DM Captain, and Julian Gunnerud, who actually plays for Sandefield, I believe. Uh, thank you so much, man. That is awesome. You big legend, mate. Oh, dear. Oh, I can't seem to scroll up. Uh, we haven't got a using take preview. No, you're right. We haven't. That's really weird, actually. Check. Can we confirm that? I'm fairly certain we've not seen a using take preview, have we? Which is odd. Captain Leader Legend True Blue. Hell yes. He's up there on the list, the Hall of Fame, along with Darcher, Mr. Proggers, Vice. I mean, all the people on this list, basically. Just absolute legends. Well, not just these guys. Anyone who's gifted us up to the channel over the last eight months. Drainer, uh, Clippity Clop, all these lovely, lovely souls. Good morning, monkey business. Wow, we really did tail off in the second half, didn't we? Jesus Christ. We were like, nah, we're done with that, bruv. We don't need any more. Your take was February. Ours is apparently February 2, but we've still not seen a, a preview for it. Hang on, we'll have a look, because it does tell you when you get the preview, doesn't it? 
Good win for us, boys. Yes, that's good. That should... Yeah, now we're 11 points clear with six games to go. I think we've kind of steadied the ship somewhat now. TCS... No, TSC Graphics. Thank you for the follow, man. That is awesome. Hope you're having a lovely morning as well. We may have skipped over it. I feel like we'd have noticed that, though. But then again, I feel like on the last stream, we kind of... We were so distracted by what was going on away from the stream that we kind of weren't focusing as much on the on the game and i actually do want to bring it back a tiny little bit uh because even i felt like after the stream i was like what actually happened in that stream and i want to make sure that i do at least focus on it a tiny little bit so let's have a look at the youth cat every year in february oh yeah it doesn't tell you when you get your um preview does it but we haven't had it yet otherwise it would appear there wouldn't it so you played FM last stream? I mean, I heard I did. Misha Life with the gifted sub to Tonka Turn. Thank you so much, man. That is really, really generous of you, man. You really don't have to do that. None of you do, honestly. Misha Life with the gifted sub to Tonka. That's awesome. Few days if it's the end of Feb. Yeah, I would say so. S absolute scenes. It's usually about four months because in the UK, it's December, isn't it? Like early December. So with it being... We'll get it in November some sort of time. It's been an excellent day so far. Oh, I thought, oh, we might be able to... This could be really profitable for us. If this works like it does in England, then bugger me. This could be really, really good. Doop -doop -doop. Never know. Might find something amazing. It's been a good day. We've won both of our league games so far. Pulled the gap up to nine points again. I mean, to be fair, we have been very good. I think in some of these games, we were a bit unfortunate. But to be fair, like 18 wins out of 24 is pretty solid, isn't it? Right, let's get some of these guys in. Not all of them will be good. Most of them probably be garbage. But if we just find one good guy that we can sign on a free, then I'll take it. I will take it hard. First time someone... Oh, that's so kind of you, man. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, you get the little badge next to your name as well now. I didn't realize that. Oh, he's not good at all, is he? Most of these guys will not be worth the, uh, the paper they're not printed on. But just in case there's one decent player, usually this works better when you're a bit lower down the leagues given that we're looking for promotion to the top flight i'd say there's very very l low likelihood of us finding anything good in here but he's we'll keep Staller answer for a little bit longer he's probably still gonna be rubbish but at least he's the best of a rubbish bunch lucas tonson hall uh what about you manswerk it's a manswerk but someone's gonna do it but it won't be him because he's not gonna be staying at the club any longer Berglund, ooh. Ah, uh, we'll keep him for a little bit longer. Oh, dear. Considering bringing in Jose Canas to Kongsvinger, x one Z Rail, but I remember him. 6k a week. Christ, how long? How many seasons are you in, Kev, that you're already up to the point where you could potentially play even near to that? That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, look at that. We're right back on our XG practically, though, which is a good sign. Defensively, we are a bit lax, but I already pointed that out at the start that we would be a bit like that. That is not good, yeah. Oh, God. We've, what do you mean the next? We've got the current Haaland, basically. Yeah, I wish there was a way to do... I could sort of get their point in a way, but we are also top of the league. Would we consider that a good... I swear the players we signed... Oh, well, we'll sort that out in the um, off-season by bringing in loads. I like that they want... Oh, hello. Wow. Just, oh my giddy aunt. Okay, right. We may have to take a step back here. Oh, Clippity Clock with the eight month resub. How are you, Clip? How's it Hello going, man? There. Sub hype to you. Hello there, indeed. Mm. 3,000 pounds. Wow. Oh, hang on. I saw someone needing help. What's happened here? Uh, from the youth and take preview, is it potential to go far message for a player? I mean, they have five stuff. Oh, I don't know, J Week. I don't think I've seen that one. Usually it's like golden generation, good group of players. To be fair, it can change. It feels like it's kind of fluid and it kind of just changes until you actually get it set in on the day. Don Anderson, thank you for the follow. Yeah, the ratings are always all over the shop. How many we start season two? Christ. I wonder what kind of budgets we'll get next season if we go up. Which, let's face it, we probably will. You got a sunny... Oh, I saw that on Twitter. That was awesome. It... I feel like if I got a son on FM, he would inevitably be garbage. But hey, what can I say? Registration is a massive penny ask for the top flight, James. What's the rules for the top flight that differ from this one? So some of these guys, very young. We've just suddenly been given like a big bump of these. And a lot of them are available on free transfers. So I'm just going to keep...
scouting a lot of these guys, particularly if they are like in positions we might use. Six foot two, not super slow, good jumping reach. Oh, hello, Eric Lering. Why is he? I mean, he wouldn't be free, but he is quite interesting. Jonathan Ordlandsvik, goalkeeper, free from the YMCA. Very interesting. There's some options in here. Oh, if you got Vestigals and Sun, that would be the, the, the Don. Clipperty is most content. That's how I like my Clipperties. Hey, Vaughn. Loritz Schelger. Ooh. Mm. 18, though. Not, ah, uh, 5 uh, We'll scout him anyway. There's definitely some options in and around this bunch of players. Carriero, we do use center mids. Ooh, a Finn. Yuhani Pikarainen. Oh, I think he'd probably want a bit much, but we'll see. There's definitely a, just a massive load of players that have been dumped in here for some reason. He's at Austria VM, which suggests he's probably a bit out of our pro. Yeah, okay, no. We can obviously bump that up next year, perhaps. Wow. If we could get this guy on loan from Volarenga next season, perhaps, or something, though, because one thing we've struggled with is finding a really consistent keeper. Although it's partly because our defense is a bit garbo. Okay, there was actually some quality in there. That's pleasing. Nine max non-homegrown, 25 on part-time deals are better. Yeah, we've sort of... What I do find is when you're signing players, it seems to basically complain every single time. Oh, the player check. My apologies. Uh, Hulk Yoga and Isak Pettersson. Oh, he's a goalkeeper at Nushby. Okay. I mean, we don't know much about him, but I'm going to scout him anyway since he's, alleged, since he's in, within the realms that we can scout. So I'll take that. See if he comes up any good. He's probably beyond us, but still. Ooh. No, Runa. What are you doing? Can't have that. At the very least, though, we have at least agreed to loan back Runa Espiord for next season, even though I do wonder if we could do better. Because think about what we could do with a striker that could be good. Imagine. Theatre mode? Hang on. Sorry. What is theatre mode, Bay Hudson? Where is that? That sounds intriguing. Do tell me more. Or is it just something that like helps with like, uh, oh, could look at this. Ling, ah, oh, excellent. Siemens making some progress. This is good. He could be good for a few years for us, I feel like. And he's on such little money too. I can't believe that. Oh, God. Grinderson's hurt himself, which is less than ideal. I, I would say it is Connor, honestly. Yes. I, I would, despite, it's not going to have loads. Oh, here we go. It's not going to have loads of new features that perhaps you would be used to with a new game. But what they've done is they've made an incredibly polished version of every other game. And it's fun. And I think that's kind of what you want out of the game. So it has my seal of approval, if that means anything. Um, uh, uh, Nuha Yata. Oh, okay. That's a fantastic name. Let's have a look at him first and then come back for the old uh, youth intake preview. Although, unfortunately, it appears that uh, he is not... In oh, hang on. Ah, oh, it appears that he's not in the database. I'm sorry, uh, Kipasso. I'll refund you your points. That way you, you don't get stiffed out of that. I'm sorry about that. Uh, heavy Gears and the God Bold. Thank you so much. Your name sounds like a font that I would like to use. Hope you're well this morning. Hmm. Basically expands the player to also include the chat on the side so that the... Oh, on Twitch. I thought you meant on FM. Yeah, theater mode is great if you want to keep an eye on chat as well as watch the stream in bigger. It's really, really good. Hey, another hype train. Good stuff. Right, here we go. Golden general. Oh, hype train level two. Let me share this emote, boys. There we go. Right then. Ready? Predictions chat. What do you reckon we're going to get? I reckon it's going to be absolute Hello? crap. And like the prediction is going to be just like nothing. Just half yellow, half green, mostly nothing. I would say so. A shite youth into it. Yeah, I feel like. Be shit at eight goalkeepers. I reckon. Right, here we go. Let's see. Oh, bugger me. Most of our new strikers coming through look like they're full short. One good Norwegian attacking midfielder. We don't use attacking midfielders. Oh, dearie me. To uh, hang on. Tom and. Ormo, thank you for the follow, man. Well, that was disappointing, wasn't it? Do you need some good Norwegian talents? I mean, we're always looking for them, of course, but we're trying to find them ourselves. It's more fun that way. That was uh, not spectacular. That being said, they can sort of change, and all we'd need is for that one player to be brilliant, and that could change everything, but it's unlikely. 
Regan Booty. I believe Regan Booty is not in the database. Sadly, no, Misha Life, uh, because we've only got... Have you tried Erling Haaland? I'll have a look. I will have a look. <laughs> no, Regan Booty's not in the save because um, when I was loading the players, we only loaded a load of top division players from every country in Europe. So obviously Regan Booty being further down uh, was not. All yellow. Yeah, so basically all the positions we play, <laughs> apart from the DMs. Right, it's Oi Gordon. The Island Garden, folks. Right, hopefully we can make a few changes to bring Mula back in. Yes. Oh, and uh, do I really... Oh, Espy's injured, isn't he? Have we not got... Let's put Mohammed up instead of him. And then Kitsilano back in his natural spot in the midfield. I feel like that's probably... Although Antonsen's back now, so maybe we'll just leave it as it is, actually. See if Mohammed Ahmed can do us a job. He scored a few goals off the bench for us, so I don't see why not. A couple more wins and we'll be there. I, I found some lower leagues can get some pretty good intakes. A sort of like, relatively speaking. Like, you're not going to get... I mean, occasionally you'll find an absolute gem, sure. But relatively speaking, you can get some pretty good talent in, low, in the lower leagues. Oh, yeah, no, we're obviously going to do that once the once they start coming through. We'll start just diving into those. Uh, Determ Determinant 9. Thank you for the follow, man. Still haven't quite figured out which one of these is my favorite yet. I find that hands on hips seems to get a good response sometimes. And there it is. I think it depends on your sort of managerial level, perhaps. He's in the top division of our hearts. Oh, yes, for sure. So what a lot of people have been asking me on uh, YouTube comments lately about, like, whether I've ever reached out to or had any interactions with Regan Booty. The answer is no. But I am thinking about getting in touch with Regan. And so, oh, my God, are we going to take the lead after 12 seconds? <laughs> what a goal. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. That was really good play. Um, double AF is actually working. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, we're top of the league. So that would suggest that it is so far. I was a bit dubious about it too, but I didn't really know where to play them. So we thought we'd just start with that and go from there. And they just started scoring. So, hey, can't can't argue with that. But yeah, as for Regan Booty, I was thinking about getting in touch with Regan and seeing if he would be up for like an interview on the channel just to talk about football, talk about his status over here, as well as just, you know, because obviously he's without a club currently. And maybe we could do anything we can to help him get a new one. Just an idea. Yeah, no, I feel like we're going to be... In fact, we may get a chance to do that today. We're going to be doing a deep dive into what's available for free the moment this season finishes because there's a nice little gap emerging. And oh, oh, just off the line. I think we should be able to build an absolutely stellar squad for next season. Point finger. Does that one actually work? I always feel like it's really intimidating and I don't want to be mean to them, you know? It's a booty call. It would indeed be a booty call. Well, I actually did think about that. But at the time, I think the club that he was at, wherever it was, didn't have a feature like that currently available. And obviously, sadly, at the moment, he is without club. So we're, we're a goal up. Cruising, it's all good. It's described as assertive. I did like a bit of assertiveness on previous games. So let's try it. Point finger. Oh, no, to be fair, I'll just give him outstretched arms right now because we know that one gives them inspired. I do like the fact that complimenting them at halftime no longer causes them to shit the bed in the second half because before if you complimented players at half time if they were winning like 2-0 or winning at all they'd either not react or they'd get complacent in the second period almost immediately kind of annoying but that seems to be a nice little thing that's now been rectified which is good booty is currently without a club as far as i'm aware he was released by Notts county in the uh the most recent sort of off period which is a shame yeah no need to be assertive the players are doing well have we just got a penalty yes we have okay good this is a chance to put this game to bed and start concentrating on more things. But we definitely want to be nicely nicely finished. Burton must be getting close to 10 goals this season now. Eight. Okay. He'll probably get there by the end of it, I would imagine. So that's pleasing. So we'll look for free transfers. We're not going to have a huge transfer budget. And mostly at this point, the best thing to do is just dump it all onto wages and then go from there, essentially. And that's our, that's going to be the plan. Some of the loans are going to leave. We'll find some more loans potentially, but I actually do want to start building it up with the real, uh, with like permanent signings because I feel like that's going to matter long term for us. Let's get Kitalano on now, actually. Get a bit of backup in that position. And. Oh, Ingeblitzen. Yeah, we'll get him in too for Muller. Is Runa Norheim still at Trom, sir? I don't. I think he is. Actually, I'm not sure, Henning. We did. We have talked about him before, and it was either because he was and he wasn't there yet, or he has left already. We'll have a look in a second. You could coach Regan if he goes to Brighton. This is true. This is very true. 
Oh, that'd be so good. Imagine that. Get trials. Yeah, no, we will. But we have to find the players to trial them first. And there's no point in us doing this right now. Those players are currently at clubs, so they won't come yet. Um, but what I think we should be doing is when I'm getting those scout reports through, even if it's only agents, I should be taking some more of those players on trial because usually you can find gems in there too. And I feel like I've been kind of neglecting that out of laziness. Uh, and that's not, that's not what you want because we can't build a team with laziness. So yeah, the season in Norway starts, it usually runs through the summer because obviously it gets cold, particularly in Tromsø where it's in the Arctic. So it runs across the summer and then they have the winter, whole winter period off. However, because of the whole COVID situation, the league starts much later this year and it finishes much later. It finishes in like middle of December, which for Norway is ridiculous. 12 points clear now. Very, very nice. Finest bottle of iron brew. Oh, I wish. I wish I had iron brew. I don't even have coffee. Key wow, okay. The Wang did a great job there, rising highest. So that means we guaranteed playoffs, not that we really care about that. So what was I going to do? Something else. Oh yeah, Runa Norheim. I think we've looked him up before, but... I... Wait, what? Oh, hang on a minute. Isn't he the guy that's too young to be in the database? That might be him. That may well be the guy. If that's the case, then he's not in the database yet because of uh, the way SI has rules or something. 20 guys on trial. It's good stuff. Hey, Vice. How are you, man? Grunley does play, um, but he doesn't play for us for one simple reason. Because we didn't want to build a team... Fuck's sake. We didn't want to build a team around him based on the fact that, unfortunately, when we got here, he immediately had this status, which means that you are, there's nothing you can do to get them to stay. When they don't have this, you can usually convince them, but there's literally nothing we can do. So we didn't want to build a team around a player that was not going to be with us next season, no matter what we did, which is a shame. XG is great, though, isn't it? How aren't you wearing a coat? Well, you know, I've got a flannel shirt. What more do you want? I think middle fart is Norway, yes. I'm actually not sure. I think so. Hello, dupe. How are you, man? Season two, I'm only in February with 18k left on the wage budget. Wow. I'm hoping we get some of the generosity that you've got. Middle farts in Denmark. Okay, there you go. It was one of the B. I do love a flannel. What can I say? If I had more flannel shirts, I'd be a happier man. Hence the mustache going a bit more, uh, a bit more twirly today. You can get away with this kind of thing and you just smashed a mirror. Oh God. Well, um, that's gonna, I mean, that's seven years bad luck, mate. Or seven seasons bad luck, which ironically is probably even worse. Zetterstrom. When did I... Oh, it's Tromsø 2. Well, there's an Aust isn't there a village in Austria called Fucking? And they're changing their name because who likes fun at the end of the day? So yeah, what I was going to say is taking players like this on trial. Obviously, we can bin them off if they're crap. But just giving us a chance to get a bit more information on players like that. Morgan's Pedersen. Uh, we would, but he is ungodly slow. Um, like... Like, what was it? Yeah. He would literally have to stand in one place for the entire, like, period of him being in the team. He rejects it. All right. Well, cheers then, Album. I mean, he's a keeper. He's probably rubbish. But, hey, you never know. He's not. We will keep him for a bit, see what he's like. We can have a fair number of these guys, can't we? So, did you manage to keep him? No, we didn't. Uh, because there was no option to keep him. Because the moment we started the save, he had that status on his name, which meant that you couldn't do anything. So that was quite, that was quite annoying. Stealing their city signs. Yeah. I don't know. Just seems a bit like... Like, people only know the town because of the name. Would you... If you were a town, would you really want to change the thing that makes you sort of special, I guess? Playoff final for the... Ooh. Which league? I, I'm guessing first season. You finally got it to work. Nice, Marius. What did you do that made it... Like, why wasn't it working? And what did you do to make it work? I'm interested. Because when I come to do this, I want to make sure I've covered all the options. Hello there. Oh, and my man is going home. <clears throat> Croatian. Thank you for the follow, man. El Portuguese. I am doing terrific, my man. How are you? Hello, my children. People get nostalgic. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, we haven't got the report back on uh, Oscar Pettersson yet, and we didn't look at Alexander Abramson. I don't think. Uh, I'm guessing it's the guy that plays for Jewel Gordon's reserves. Right, what? Didn't he used to... Oh, no. Okay. I thought he used to play for IFK for a second. We'll get a scout report on him, too, and see what happens. Hey, DFB. Should have heard my middle fart last night. Oh, hello. When did he put a transfer request in? Viceroy with the six six gifted subs. 
Oh my god, Nutty Badger, Light the Moon, Small Jack, RS, Joey Jonah, Jambula, and Eroiza getting them gifted subs off the legend that is Viceroy Icarus. And you know I'm being serious because I just referred to him by his full name. That's his actual name, Viceroy Icarus. Got too expensive to replace signs. I just started GoFundMe. I'd happily contribute to that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Vice. Honestly, that's insane of you, man. You really, really don't have to do that. Always. As always, you honestly do not have to do that. It's This week has been nuts as far as the general. It's actually... With... <sighs> like, I, I've not even got used to the level of generosity. That's something I will never get used to. But this week, it's been on a different level, which is actually ridiculous. Um, so thank you. Percy Blaze, or Piercy Blaze, rather. Thank you for the follow, man. Oh, no worries, Urso. So yeah, um, the competition I ran, it was Urso that actually won it, which was really cool because I'm glad it went to someone who's like a regular viewer or contributor in some way, which was awesome. Um, I didn't notice him at the time because it just drew it randomly and he entered via Twitter. So I saw the, twi uh, the Twitter name and it was no relation to that. So I clicked it, DM'd him and it turned out it was Urso. That's awesome. Rage, thank you for the follow. <coughs> Jeff Sivert Nansworth, the name rings a bell. I, sw I think we actually took him on a free... I think we took him on trial. He might actually be here on trial right now, actually. Hang on a minute. Oh, no. No, we didn't. Maybe it was another guy with a similar name. There was a guy that we brought in on trial that had a similar name. Yeah, that's the reason I've been calling you Vice all these times. Just because I didn't want to <laughs> ruin my name, ruin my skills saying your name. <clears throat> we do need the kind of love that's in this group. I know, exactly. <clears throat> Effort isn't very popular on Twitch. I mean... I don't really care in the end of the day because like <clears throat> I like the community we have and I feel like if FM was massively popular like where the point where you could pull like 5-6k on a stream I feel like it would lose a lot of that in many ways and you don't need huge numbers to have a fun stream frankly <clears throat> I fought in the middle of the night the relationship was tested now nah, mate that's a true proper test you should do that on purpose just to make sure make sure she's a keeper you know that's why I'm still here, isn't it? <laughs> Play for Ranheim. Just buy them just because. And then put them in the reserves and let them rot. Uh, he's a bit... Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> True, yeah. I actually, M pointed that out to me that the Korea guy was getting. To be fair, FM is massive in Korea. Like, huge in Korea. Exactly. I, I think FM community is good the way it is. Um, but that being said... I would always, I would always want it to grow because it's a good thing for the game and it's a good thing for the people involved. Um, so it's, it's one of those things. It's a double-edged sword, like many of these situations. Let's do the hands on hips thing again. They seem to be responding to that, so we'll go with it. So what's happened is basically we started the season, won nine of our first ten league games, and Espiord was banging goals in. Then it started to tail off a little bit and we started to struggle a little bit like a one win in five kind of situation. But since we've come back today, we've just hit the ground running. We're on three wins out of three. We've pulled to a 10 point gap over Lilström and we're looking very, very good for promotion. In fact, I believe we could actually get promoted today with the right result. Or... Oh. Yeah, I know, Heading. Sorry. Uh, what I should say is that the reason I don't just, like, look at every single person that someone mentions in chat is because it kind of ruins, like, the, why bother having scouts at all at that point, then, if people are just going to, like, spam Wonder Kids? Because it just kind of, I don't know, it removes a bit of the fun. I like finding people through the scouting because that way it feels a little bit more realistic. And I realize the scouting in the game isn't perfectly realistic anyway, but it does add a little bit more immersion to the game. How much do you I really don't know, Wolfie, as it goes. Um... We won't find out really until we get promoted, but I'm excited because Kev with Kongsvinger records that he got massive money. So I'm cons I'm pumped to see what we actually get here. Now, now might be the time to point fingers. Yes, there we go. It's because you're actually focusing on the game. It could be, could be. Although to be fair, I'm not making tactical switches, but I, I think it might come down to the fact that perhaps before when I was letting my assistant choose players, I was not noticing where he was putting certain people. Whereas now I am paying attention to that. And that's why we're getting the players in the right positions. Espion's through. Can he finish? No, he can't. Oh, oh dear. The hips don't lie. This is true. It's very true. I, I feel like if FM wanted to compete with FIFA, they would have to add a really fleshed out online option. And I don't know how they would go about doing that. Unfortunately. For a family of farters? The latest scores thing. Oh, this. Yeah, I still think it's... And I used to think it was because of my skin. And I do still wish you could have less of the... Like, I just wish this was more customizable. 
That's what I really want. Right, we should probably make some subbies here because this is not quite going our way today. We'll get Burnson on and Moolah to freshen the sides up and... Mm, screw it. We'll get... No, actually, I don't want to do that. I'm going to get him on for Antonson because he's having a poor-ass day, sadly. FM should be FM. But I feel like more and more FIFA players have been coming over to play FM recently as well. And, and that's cool. That's really, really cool to see, to be fair. Yeah, the land of the field of blue uh, based on the... Um, well, it's snowing. Because uh, we are, remember, we're in the Arctic Circle right now. And it is the, in the middle of November. So I can only imagine what the temperature is in this match right now. <laughs> yeah, the XG. Oh, Fitim Azimi gives us what might hopefully be the late winner. Oh, it definitely could. I mean, think of what, what like, FMO was like. And I know they tested some stuff in Korea. Um, like, they didn't make a big deal of it. I don't think they mentioned it at all in Europe. But there was tests being run with a new thing. But they just never seemed to go with it. Oh, yeah, FIFA's dropping the ball massive. I mean, I could talk about how much I despise the FIFA games till the cows come home, but nobody wants to hear me complain for two hours, you know? You get that enough anyway, and we're losing. <laughs> yeah, true. Hello there. And I think they are definitely doing a lot of work on the match engine. There's new people that have joined the team there that are doing a lot of deeper work on the graphical side of things, and I think that's a really cool step that they're taking, and an important one as well. It really, really is. Flaska, thank you so much for the follow. That... That means bottle, doesn't it? <laughs> how very interesting. Ultimate Team in FM. I wonder how that would work. Well, FIFA's kind of like the lemurs of Madagascar, i.e. it has like no natural predators, and therefore it's been able to kind of mutate into this absolute abomination because there's been nothing to challenge it. And you could argue that FM has a similar situation, but I feel like the devs have more integrity, to be honest. Uh, yeah, screw it, we'll do that. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, that's the thing. With FM being on the Xbox, I wonder how much of an effect that could potentially have as far as bringing in a new audience that may get it on Xbox, go, I like this experience, but I want something a bit deeper, and that might then encourage them to get the PC game and be a complete convert. You just never know. Well, he's gone. That was a good result for us. Maybe could have done a bit better in front of goal, but we'll take it. Uh, Outstretch arms. Yeah, it was a good win for us. We won. That's the main thing. I don't worry quite as much, perhaps, James. I think that heart can be... I do actually... Can't, I've gr They've grown on me so much. I think it's actually better than the percentages. Because I think it's a little bit less... Uh, sometimes you'd just leave a player... You wouldn't leave a player on the pitch after a certain point where perhaps you could completely justifiably do that. And it's nice that you can kind of get away with that. Good lord. Double hat-tricks in this game for a sauna. That's a, a decent result. Hello, Em. You okay? Mm -hmm. What's up? About to, uh... You have a giant hole in the middle of your jeans in the crotch area. Yeah. Did you buy those specially or? No. I squatted. <laughs> she, <laughs> she squatted. Yeah, that's true. It's She's... Right, and it's like right at the front as well, so. I mean, <laughs> that's I'm definitely not TOS. I'm just going to water her now. <laughs> Fair play. More power to you, love. I might spill them up. Hello there. The real Joker. Thank you for the follow, man. I, I do, but that's what I would say, Caleb. Yeah, they are. Compl it's a bit like comparing a horse to a dolphin in many ways. Although, I'd still rather ride a horse than a dolphin, but I feel like I'd rather have a conversation with a dolphin. I'm not sure where that analogy's gone. It's gone somewhere. Pez was so... I loved Pez. Pez 6. Still my favourite football game of all time. Comfortably. Without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, nice one, Marius. Thank you, man. Hopefully, I don't have run into that problem, but if I do, that's awesome. Yeah, I would sort of just, like, use the hearts as, like, a guideline, I suppose. Uh, I think over time, someone will figure out the exact, like, granular side of it and be able to produce a really good guide for it. So we'll find out in due course, I sense. Good morning, Smithy. How are you, man? Right, we got to get we got the YMCA next, so that should be a winnable game. Financial projection is saying the club will be 2.6 million in debt. Ouchie. So mine is more still bad, but not as bad. We're predicted to get that sort of half that debt in like two years. So it's not too bad. Two Ginger Beast 2. Thank you for the follow, man. Wow, look at... Oh, record points haul. Oh, yeah, shit. What was the record again? It was... We're nowhere near to the actual record anymore. Whole team meeting. Yeah, I'm not doing that. That never works. Hang on, what's that? I love this. Recommendation. Use youth facilities. Yeah, I'll do that. As opposed to what? 
Oh, okay. Save ideas for Urso then. Oh, here we go. I lo I've always loved this screen though. I um, mean, our running is actually quite difficult in fairness, but let's face it. We're if we don't get promoted from here with a 14 point advantage, we need one point essentially to get promoted. That's a good point, actually, bang average, yeah. I, I guess it's difficult for, for SI to produce anything like that, uh, which is why I think the databases and all the additions that people make are very, very important to the upkeep of the game. But I do think FM has more replayability just because there's more stuff in it that you can do. Like, there's just more teams, more leagues. Uh, he's got 20... Uh, hang on. 22 and 24. But his XG is 19, so he's actually only just overperforming his XG, which is actually very impressive because eight assists as well. What about Fitz? Uh, fit him. 20 goals and seven assists. I mean, they are both bloody excellent, basically. There's a fault in the root directory. Oh, okay. That might also be a problem for me because I have FM installed weirdly. So my standard Steam directory is on my M drive, which is my um, SSD SATA one. But I also have an M.2 drive, which I put FM on. So it runs that, if it could run that tiny little bit quicker, probably doesn't. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, the pointing finger seems to work. Big fan of that. getting more guests recently uh, maybe I, I i wouldn't know though that's the thing i don't have the not the wealth of knowledge to know if they were or not so what a goal oh my god tobias call it with an absolute thunder bastard uh, that is ridiculous what a hit look at this for a strike on the full volley oh no half volley what a hit bloody hell that might be the goal i've seen that might be the best goal i've seen all season jesus christ what a man my M drive. Yeah, it's called M drive. The opposition tactics screen. I mean, it's kind of... Hang on. Firstly, let's make sure we're on the right page. Uh, the right... Uh, so, do you mean this screen? Um, firstly, let, let me know if that's what you mean. And then we'll, we'll, we'll discuss this. Because it is something that... Uh, oh, God. He's about to do it again, isn't he? I can feel it. Oh, God. He slipped it through. Keeper. That's fine. Calm. Ever managed Luton Town? No, I haven't. Um... The only way that I find myself... Oh, hello. Go on. Go on, SB. Yeah. Oh. The only way I'd find myself managing Luton, really, that I could see, would be if they suddenly dropped down to, like, the National League again. At one point, I did actually consider Luton as a rebuilding save back when they actually were back in the National League. But obviously, they've risen so much now that there's no real reason that I would do a save with them. Like, I always need, like, a, a hook or a reason to do it. The FM community is very good at that. To be fair, FIFA has quite a large modding community as well. Um, but I feel like their job has been made a lot harder. Whereas SI go out of their way to make it very easy. So yeah, basically what I do, generally speaking, Clarky, if you're playing a high pressure tactic with lots of pressing and stuff, then I will always basically press every single player on that screen by default. But one thing you can do if you're not going to do that is put showing every player onto their weak foot. Because it just seems like a no-brainer to do. I can think of very few situations where you wouldn't want to do that. So that's the main advice I would say is just show players onto their weak foot there. And if they've got a playmaker and you find out who it is. So for example, this guy, Roush. If I was paying more attention, I would probably go and set someone to mark him as well. To try and take him out of the game a little bit more. But it just depends. If Sunderland fell one more league, I'd be all over that dodge, uh, Todger. Like, all over that Todger. That's a weird sentence. <laughs> um, but... Starting a rebuilding save in League One is just a bit too high for me. Go on, fit him. Oh, not quite. Learning in the championship. Exactly. That's what I'm, that's what my point is, though. That you can't rebuilding them from the championship isn't really much of a rebuild. Do Southampton beta save? Probably not, because beta saves I use as an opportunity to do a massive side. <laughs> Sticking the foot in there. Sorry, yes. Um, what I meant to say was that SI make it as difficult as possible and that is good because it protects license holders and it's all... And what we care about the most is license holders here, as we should, because license holders are the real victims in this particular scenario. Does that about cover it? I think we've covered my ass there, chat. Oh, Kitalano with the strike. Alianza Lima. Oh, that would be kind of fun. I am looking forward to it. I feel confident that we could actually get away with doing Outcast Icons Africa edition after Tromsa. I feel like enough people would be interested to the point where I could actually do that. And that is really encouraging. I would never have been able to get away with that before, but I feel like we actually genuinely could, and that'd be awesome. Starting Djibouti or something. Burry, 
unfortunately the reason i couldn't do bury is because they weren't in a database i could there was no database for it when the game was released and that's the issue there the lincoln town logo it's not a pretty one but don't tell tom my fem actually he may well agree to be fair redecorating loon <laughs> morning Gelcha. we're actually losing this we're losing to the bloody ymca if we could like not do that that would be just spiffing chaps Mm. Screw it, Mohammed got that goal in the last game. Let's give him another chance. Uh, oh, you get Burtson actually for, for Lassa. If we could just not lose this, that'd be just wonderful. All other, I'm, she, I'm sure she wouldn't care, to be honest. <laughs> I, I considered other teams, Samuel, but really, when an opportunity comes to do a team like Bolton, you take it because it fit the. Oh, it fit the criteria for the save perfectly. So. Plus, we've got a bit of a history of Bolton as we watch them kind of go down in flames during my Wimbledon save. I almost feel like I have a responsibility to build them back up again. So there was only really going to be one team I was going to do that with. Outcaster Af... Thank you, babe. That's that's probably the best name we've come up with. It. Someone's come up for it so far. I quite liked the Safari as well, but that one that one works a, a lot. Oh, coffee has been brought, chat. I'm going to put some M's in the chat. There we go. Lovely work. We're about to lose to this bunch. Hello, Em. You're right. Bye. Bye. Mm. Yeah, so it would kind of have the same kind of rules as Outcaster Icons, uh, where any team that's ever been to the African Champions League or any kind of African, like, uh, major... I don't know if they have an African version of the Europa League. Obviously, it wouldn't be called the Europa League. <laughs> the Afropa League. The Afropa League. Oh, it scored! Daniel Burnson pulls us out the bag there. Proud Ski with the follow as well. Thank you, man. So, which... Uh, oh, I would blatantly be the builder. Because I'm hard, mate. That reminds me. Um, it looks like one of the main contenders for the Bolton transfer outfit is bloody the guy from Phoenix Knights. Bird flu's been found in turkeys in Yorkshire. Okay, cool. So 2020's back. Um, just when we thought we'd forgotten it, it's back. It's like, hey, remember me? Afrototo Cup. Oh, my God. Bless those reins, boys. So, yes, when we were doing uh, Wimbledon, we actually had like a segment that we'd run every couple of seasons called What the Fuck's Going On at Bolton Now? Where they ended up going down from the championship to uh, the National League North. Samuel AFC with the tier one sub. Thank you so much, man. That is extremely nice of you, bud. Hope you're having a lovely morning. By the way, Christ on a bike. We are like nearly at my highest ever sub number. So thank you. That's extraordinary. I never thought we'd get anywhere near that again. Thank you, guys. That's awesome. Peter K. Um... Yeah, Peter K, but I can't remember what the character's called because, like I said, I've never actually watched Phoenix Knights. Yeah, I wasn't actually going to do Bolton initially. I couldn't remember who I originally had in mind. Anise, thank you for the follow. I'm still going to thrash my arms at that. We should be winning that. Brian Potter, that's the one. Yes, hello. You're back. Oh, check it out. I got kisses on demand, boys. It's the dream. You didn't ask for us, did it? I know, it's even better. Unexpected kisses. It's the love that creeps up behind you. Yeah, I might have to watch it as well, to be fair. Phoenix Wright. Oh, mate, that'd be even better. <laughs> Just me as an anime lawyer. I'd take that. Phoenix Knights. It's a... Like an early noughties TV show set in... Well, around Bolton, I'd say. Yeah, thankfully we're not quite close enough to the leg wax for me to be worried yet, which is good. I think there's more chance of that happening if I don't get in the top 100 of the Fantasy League, to be honest. Oh, dear. Right, let us continue. We are a few days away from playing Hammer Time, which is nice. Hello there. Hello there. Hello, Sean DePaul. Thank you very much for the follow. I will actually have to give it a go. It's the sort of thing that my girlfriend, that M's dad, very much enjoyed. Uh, let's see. Set in a pub and bar. Ah, uh, okay. I thought it was like a working man's club or something like that. But again, like I said, I've never actually seen it. All I've seen is like parody stuff related to it because I think they would do stuff for comic relief. Um, I'll have to watch it. But to be fair, if that was the thing people decided, that shouldn't be too difficult to get hold of because I just need things like a granddad cardigan, like a shirt, glasses, and a wig. I, I would have to keep the beard, obviously, because otherwise I would look ridiculous. As opposed to now, where I don't definitely not look ridiculous. Uh, R RMR93, thank you for the follow. Your dad enjoys probably Phoenix Knights. I imagine that's a show he would have enjoyed, Em. Yeah, I've never been to Bolton. I've never really been. The closest I've been to Bolton is Lancaster, and that's where my sister lives. And that's the only reason I would have had to go. No! Siemens hurt himself. Or rather, he's ill. 
If you fail outcast to out, you have to cosplay as Phoenix right. Fair play. I'll take that bet. I do like taking bets that I then inevitably have to spend money on costumes to back up. I have quite the, quite the costume collection, my friends. Ah, so sadly, Gulliver, maybe it was you. Maybe that, that maybe this is your fault because he was rubbish through the entire stream on Thursday. Uh, he's currently got 22 in the league, bearing in mind where he was, and he scored four of these today. Um, so yeah, my man had a bit of an off day, but it did allow Fitim Azimi to catch up and bag 20 in the league for us. So yeah, he, he's not gone as quite as well as we were hoping he would do. Screw it, you know what? Let's try the team talk. Let's see if this will actually work. Anna Jensen's angry! I don't want to win titles. I'm not here for this shit. Why is he... What could he possibly be angry about? What? Yeah, again. Pointless nonsense. And then they don't matter anyway. Yeah, not going to do those ever again. What's the point? Even when you got a positive effect from every single player, it's still like, yeah, it was mostly negative, though. <laughs> Favorite rebuilding save? Um, Probably Wimbledon. So far. But I have a feeling Bolton could get there, particularly because of the tactic we're playing. I'm going to persist with that the whole way because I reckon there are much more optimal ways we could be playing with that Bolton team. But firstly, this tactic will make it harder for us. And it's just really fun to play batshit shapes, isn't it? So... I'm ecstatic to try and use that and see how far we can go with it, to be honest. Tax deductible costumes. This is very true. This is very true. Well, see, I haven't got a chance. I haven't, literally haven't even had a chance to make Tromsur Fan TV yet. So that's why you won't be seeing it just yet. But uh, you'll know when it comes. You'll know when it comes. How often do you get scout reports? I don't know. They just sort of show. I think it's every week. It seems to be around every week. It might be every. T no, it should be every week. Although it might be longer because we're outside of a transfer window currently. That might be what it is. Let's try the point finger thing. Yes, lads. Yes. I want to try the kicker chair. Hmm. I really liked Bolton. Uh, not Bolton. I'm enjoying Bolton too, but I really liked um, fucking Wimbledon. Fabio. Although what I would say is Portsmouth had Norman Millington. So he's up there with one of the biggest that ever like, sort of characters we've had in saves. There's been Millington, Bruno Bridges as well. I think actually Bruno Bridges arguably is a better character. I think he might be my favorite like regen character I've ever had on a save. As much as we have people like BPK, I still feel like, I mean, actually I'll, I'll ask you guys, who do you believe was the best like regen character I've ever had on a save? Uh, so Booty is excluded from this because we all know he's the best. Uh, FN Elms, thank you for the follow man. Rune SP and he can't quite put it in there. I don't know if you can throw him before a game, no. That'd be quite weird, isn't it? The goals were in goalkeeper. Yeah, Martin Galfrascoli. What a lad. What an absolute lad. Atletico Ottawa. Cool. A Clive Kimberley. How very dare you? He's worse than Tony Harris. I can't believe people were voting for Clive Kimberley to be manager of the um, bastard Bolton save. The cheek of it. He got a considerable number of votes. Bruno Bridges is up there. They do have a good vibe. I, I, I'm still regretting never going to the stadium. It was right there. I could have just walked. I'm just lazy. Could have got the bus. Fabio was cool. Yeah, a lot of people liked Fabio. But Bruno, for me, was the king. Mm. Oh, yeah, Matis Vigawa. What I liked about Matis Vigawa was the fact that after we sold him to... Was it Lekia we sold him to? He continued to bang goals in for them. It was awesome. Leon Brave Boy. It was Lyndon. Lyndon Brave Boy. Uh, I wonder if the guy that had the whole story about Lyndon Brave Boy has ever been to the streams. I want to I want to thank that guy. He made some good memes. Also, that's what I also want to say. The meme game for Bolton is very strong. I have a full, like, plethora of memes ready for including in videos lately. It's great. Oh, yeah. Blaise Elisic. Yeah, that season where BPK got 28 league assists is nuts. But I genuinely think that Blaise Elisic is the best ever youth intake player I've had on a save, ever. I don't think anyone even comes close. For a player that's actually come through a youth intake for a team I'm managing as now we're losing to these guys. John Okoro, what a lad. I still feel so bad for Blaise Elisic. Just off the back of the fact that the Poland manager absolutely ruined him. What a man. Victor Hugo Puig, a.k.a. Le Miserable. Oh, I forgot about him. Jean Okoro 
is just such a sad story. That guy could have been a Premier League player in that save, without a shadow of a doubt. Are they going to score another one? We're on the bloody losing again here. Um, if we could, like, not do that. We've actually been quite good in the last few games, too, and somehow still managed to pull defeats from the jaws of victory, which is just wonderful. Oh. Worst region I've ever had. I mean, it depends on what you consider worse, because, like... Oh, God. Attitude-wise, Clive Kimball... Wow, it's 2-0 insane <sighs> Kane in a recent interview said he's looking to equal the great Lisek this season yeah indeed Corey Bucalosi oh what well, with these mafia connections don't forget uh, Cl uh, Curtis Thomas as well lower league god Thomas Stefanek yeah Thomas Stefanek was a, a bellend um, I did love how look at this it's not been a good day for us here is it they are really bottling it they are actually are bottling it I mean, to be fair, it looks like Lilstrom are bottling it too as they're losing at home against Stroman. So we may not have to worry quite so much. At this rate, we'll get promoted without bloody doing anything. Right, let's see if we can pull this back. Uh, let's get Glernley on again. Strikers have been a bit... They've been whiffing a lot today. We'll, we'll try that out. I'm glad Stepanek existed because it allowed us to have a villain character for uh, the, the Blackhaven part of the save and that may not have worked as well I, it's a shame he didn't go to any other club but i think what i the mistake i made was i made him too loyal to them and it meant that despite his attributes he was never going to get another job but my, the reason i did that was so that he wouldn't leave when they oh he's missed it fran sullivan yeah he's definitely the he's the first time i've had a player that actually like had a real say in one of my saves get the event where the region comes out as gay which was cool i haven't actually seen that event happen to a player that was like in the first team squad before he had a good career over in Turkey as well. Oh, Milton Peralta. Porno stash himself. And Slavi Dancev as well. Despite being absolute garbo, he was quite... He was actually the manager for one of our saves, wasn't he? Just based on that alone. Imran Balta. <coughs> yeah. Alessandro Salvi and Imran Baltam go under the radar a little bit, but Salvi was one of the best right-sided players I've ever had on Football Manager, and Imran Baltam was definitely the best inside forward. Uh, he was like Ronaldo. He was so damn good. Thomas Kokoschka as well, yeah. Who was there? was another guy we had at... Uh, oh, we've scored! Mohamed Ahamed! There we go! Good stuff! Oh, yeah, you're right. Marcelo Di Placido is probably the best striker I've ever had on Football Manager. I think he scored in like 25 straight league matches for Roma. And we still didn't win the Champions League that year. Slavi was the manager. Uh, no, Norman Millington was the, f the manager for Outcast to Icons. I remember because that was the first time I ever used a manager. Uh, like a player as the manager. I think Danchev was the manager for um, Wimbledon. Uh, well, there we go. That was... Wait, excuse me. Come uh, hi. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at this. We're champions of Norway. That draw, that last minute draw that Mohamed Ahmed just got us, just actually won us the title. What a moment for the lads. Get me some Tromsers in the chat. Hit me with them emotes, boys. Oh, oh you love to see it. That's nice. This is a nice touch. Big fan of that. I'm happy for him. It's good to see. We've won the Norwegian second division, I think. Um, hopefully that was us actually winning it as well as being promoted. Oh, good stuff. The lads are happy. I'm happy. Oh, confetti's back. Oh, um, the guy I caught... Uh, Carol was his name, Danny. If that's the one you mean. He got loads of caps for Poland, but he never really got my name. and had a name I couldn't pronounce, even with my Polish uh, name-saying abilities, which were pretty shit, let's face it. What a moment for the lads. So we did, in fact, win the lead... Oh. Yes, that actually won us the title. The Artful Todger with the Tier 1 sub to celebrate promotion to the top flight and a title to go with it. Thank you so much, man. Sub hype to you, my friend. Hope you are well. Someone did a cartwheel. I love seeing the really, like, incongruous cartwheel where all the players are just rolling. Re they're just chilling, walking by, and all of a sudden, cartwheel. Good stuff. Oh, the regen. That was um, Demetrius Ropas. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Right then, chat. What do you reckon? How much are we saving for our wage budget for next year? I am worried that it might be rubbish. Predictions, my friends. Zero. It has to be a decent amount, right? It has to be like 10k over. Yeah. 
20k would be nice. 4.5? All right. Okay, so 54k and 300... Wow, someone was really close. Danny's practice. If this is right... So you said 300k and 20 plus. Let's see if this is actually right. Oh, Danny, mate. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. 300k transfer budget and 27,000 pounds a week. Ho, ho. That is a very smart guess, my friend. That, I mean, you've nailed it, basically. I mean, okay, the, the bit off with the wage budget, but still, we could legitimately... Oh, my God. We might actually be... If we... This means, right, we could assign some cash that if we do find an absolute gem that we can get relatively cheap, we can bring him in. And we'll have enough money to pad this squad out with excellent free signings that are relatively quality. This is very, very good news for us. Oh, I'm excited. Now, obviously, the problem... We've still got our transfer budget... Did you say 55? That's not bad, Kev. So what, what kind of budgets were you working with? Was it similar to this when you got promoted? Joao Felix. Yeah, we'll dump some of the money in the scouting. I always do that because, like, we're not going to be spending that huge amount of money, but I want to dump a load on wages because, I mean, we could sign comfortably, like, 10 players with, like, two and a half grand a week each. Oh, I'm excited by that. Very, very excited by that. Uh, Magnus, or Magnus, thank you so much for the follow, man. Right, that is very, very good news. I am now going to quickly take a pee break so we can get stuck into finding players to spend this money on. Exciting times, my friends. Back in a second, friends. Can't step out the room for one minute and leave all you lot just, just yep. Yeah. God, dearie me. Oh, where's my button? Oh, there it is. That was bizarre. That seemed to glitch out. Right. We now need to make a plan, my friends, as to how on earth we go and spend this money. Now the transfer window. When does it open? But not that it matters because we can do stuff prior to that, of course. Restricted. That is that the one or is there a different one? Ah, okay, so that's the actual transfer window. I never remember what the difference is between these two. Free transfers only. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> That'll be fine. Emmy, oh, did she now? Mm -hmm. Blame Emmy. You're probably right. I'm sure she did. Will that's your line? I don't get the feeling. You live in Chomsa. That's awesome, man. Have you lived there all your life? Because rhy rhyming is indeed fun. Yes. That's pretty good, Kev, to be fair. Right, let me just change the stream title because we're not promoting for promotion anymore. We wouldn't want to deceive people now, would we? Let's just uh, change that in capital letters to transfer window. There we go. Nailed it. I can spell. Yes, I will, uh, Teak. Um, but not yet because I wanted to get to the point where there was enough regens in to make it worthwhile me going through the steps. So probably by next stream, you'll see it would be my guess. Yeah, should be. Me. I I'm hoping we'll do the same, um, Stoll, because we have got quite a good squad here as it is, and we've got money, money. So, where do we even begin? We can get a load of free signings lined up. Um, I've been looking for a striker on short term. So yeah, we never really got back to discussing. Oh my god, we never got back to discussing this. So my problem was, it feels like you can only set one short term goal at once now. Whereas before, you could have multiple short-term goals. Is that a thing? Or is it just that it's not showing you in the UI? Because that's genuinely quite important. Yeah, it's a city. 
there's a massive uh great cathedral over in uh well i say cathedral it's a very strange church over the bridge in tromsdalen um standing outside that was bizarre it's a very strange does, does it say ransford window did i spell it wrong uh no phew Whew, you had me going for a second there rooney oh god can you imagine you live close to that church nice I'd probably walk past your house then on the way to uh, Fjellheisen. Holland and Odegaard. I'll, I'll I'll bear that in mind. Never heard of them, mate. Uh, where's my drink? There it is. Well, of you work at Fjellheisen? No way. Hey, I may have literally... We may have met. For all we know, we may well have met. Were you working there in January by any chance? That's awesome. It was very cold. <laughs> right, okay. Um, so yeah, did we actually come to a conclusion about how this short-term focus thing actually works at the moment? Because I'm still concerned that by adding a short-term focus, it removes the previous one because there's no way of actually seeing. Has anyone got any experience with that, this feature? Because I, I found it very, very inconsistent this year. Still says promotion push. It's probably because you have to refresh the stream. The cable car thing is field highs in them, yeah. Ben Glander. Thank you for the follow, man. By Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. <laughs> That's the one. He'll win us the Champions League. Phil has an, it's a cable car uh, that goes from like the bottom uh, of like down the road in Troms, uh, Tromsdal and up to the top of this massive mountain, basically. You can have multiple ones. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, it's just a bit of an annoying one. So, well, I guess in that case, I already met many FM players. To, yeah, I bet. I get all from a player who I don't want to lose, so I reject another player as unhappy. Should I let them leave? I mean, there's two ways you can take it, Denisio. Um, either you can just negotiate a deal and get them to go and put clauses in like 50% next sale fee clause, or you can just kind of let them be unhappy. And what will often happen is the team will lose interest, and then after about two or three months, you'll get a news article saying the player no longer wants to leave. It's a risk, though. You can take control of scouting, but that's too... Th there's no real point in us doing that right now. Um, so... It's easy just to set focuses. Provided they actually work, then there's no reason for us to not set focuses. So I'm going to go after... Where do we really need to strengthen, firstly, chat? Um, yeah, he's actually... There's no way he would sign for us, is there, right? Surely. You work in the restaurant? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Nah. Although, actually... That doesn't mean he wouldn't. It just means that he's wouldn't yet. I'm going to add him to the shortlist and we'll keep scouting him. That being said, there's also this lad here who we may be able to get on loan from Volarenga for next season. I don't think we can negotiate this yet because we're not in the transfer window and they might not let us. But again, something to consider perhaps. Although I'd like a permanent keeper, of course. Hmm. One stop conceding set pieces. Honestly, Clarky, the way I've tried to do it is just that watch the ones you've conceded back, see where the goals are coming from, and just try to put players in those positions. It doesn't always work, but that's usually as simple as I normally do it. Team depth screen, yeah, probably for the best. So, squad depth. Uh, we'll turn on... Oh, they're already on. Okay, cool. Uh, high players. Well, high players we've got on loan, because obviously... One thing I would say, though, is that, remember, we do have uh, SB back for next season. So he's the one player that's definitely back. Uh, ben Heferex, thank you very much for the follow, man. Trump's is going well, Hadrian. We just got promoted. So that's a good sign. Hello there. Wanted to leave, got injured after four or five months and didn't want to leave. I bet he didn't, yeah. Yeah, we'll have a look at those. We've got tons of time and tons of money. Hey, it's me, Alex. Thank you for the follow, man. And Spiny and Big Ass Bloke. There's nothing I like more than a Big Ass Bloke. Thank you so much for the follows, guys. You're legends. Main keeper at Lilstrom. So he was... So when did you sign him, James? Was that when you got promoted straight away? Because that implies that we should be able to get him. Depends on the money he wants, but we've got the cash. Makes a lot of problems. Yeah, I bet. Please clip what? Oh, right. I see. Yeah. <laughs> nice to see you, Tonka Ten. Hmm. Okay, so... We could kind of improve in, like, every single position at this point. 
right back for sure. Oh, actually, I mean, it just kind of feels like we could we could literally get better in every single position at this point. And I'm honestly not fussy. I just want to sign people now, it feels like. So let's try to think where the most important positions to strengthen might be. I do want to find another guy because Itagord Jensen's not getting any younger. And I am concerned that we may lose him soonish. But that's a high priority. And then it does start to go downhill because remember, Burtson plays out here. This side's not too bad. Right hand side probably could do with a strength. The striking roles could do with a, a, an upgrade. As could goalkeeper, I've got to say. Young talents like Bentner. Yep. Elias Anderson. Hmm. Oh, why am I in caps? And that is not a name, Matt. This guy. I mean, he's got two years on his deal with Sirius, and he's got a sports. I think it's unlikely, we'd, particularly if he's valued at 800k. I think, I mean, I'll scout him anyway, but I think he's probably not going to be on our radar right now. What I will do is keep looking through this, though. Here's a guy from Dalibor Vrbancic. He's a DM. Not, I mean, he, interesting, but he's not really what we need right now. Still an interesting player, but not for us. Ooh, Haidari, Macedonian right back. Dribbling's not the best. Interesting. Yeah, no, we're going to do all of that, but we can't do it all at once. We have to do things like, yeah, I, I am but one man. Yeah, I did. Uh, big ass I did Midtjylland, and I also did one last year with uh, Polonia Warszawa over in um, in Poland. Belgian Neil. What happened to Belgian Neil? Hello, Viking. Tenerife season one. I really just don't know. What season are... Uh, what league are Tenerife in? Is it uh, the second tier in Spain? Yeah, he's probably signed a new contract then. There seems to be some solid talent coming through, yeah. Hmm. I mean, I'm just going to keep scouting some of these guys. Obviously, we don't know enough to really make a decision on... Oh, never mind, actually. Then again. Actually, no, I'm going to wait on this because if you put money on your scouting budget now before they've actually assigned you a scouting budget, it just deletes it. So I want to make sure that we don't touch that until they actually set our scouting budget. Uh, right, so yeah, in theory, it will be on YouTube Spurs. It's going to go on a second channel, uh, which I have yet to make, but I will get there. You're hungover. I'm actually feeling all right, to be fair. I had a lot of beer last night, but I actually feel right as rain this morning, which is really, really nice. Uh, so we'll just do that. He's another Croatian, but he is at least six foot two. Not bad. Alexander Mitrovic, the Serbian goss. I attempted shaksuka. What's... Oh, is this food? I mean, to be fair, I, I don't know what that's supposed to look like, but that looks good. So I'd say good job. Damien, the resident chef in chat. Always nice to have. I'm just going to keep scouting some of these guys. This one, I might actually spend a tiny bit of cash to scout because I'm curious about him more than anything else. Well, no, I, I want to make sure I do show that message just in case because I don't want to get into the habit of like... He's on loan from Lokomotiva. We're getting a lot of players that are outside of our scouting range right now. Yeah, I think the scouting budget black hole is still a thing, sadly. Oh, fair play. Oh, so it's like... Oh, cool. Okay, so... These guys are Norwegian, therefore... Oh, it's the Matthias Fjortof Lervik. Okay. The one thing I like about Fjortof Lervik... Fjortof Lervik is... No, oh, no, he's only... Yeah, see, he would definitely be a right-back type of player. And he's... Wow, a million quid as well. That being said, loan spells are a thing, aren't they? So... Wait, hang on. What? Sorry. Oh, right. I was highlighting the wrong guy. Oh, here's Alexander Abramson. He's another one of those guys that said he's leaving, but we don't know enough about him yet. And it's probably the same situation where he won't leave yet. Rasmus Sandberg. If we're going to take a goalkeeper on loan, they need to be bloody good. Cool name. Sun Menachem. I might take a... Oh, he's on, he's on massive money, though. That's the problem with him. Oh, apparently he's not. He's free of scout. I mean, you can probably get away with it, big ass bloke, but I imagine it's not as easy as it has been in previous years, is my guess. These guys are not... We remember the board want to sign 20, under, uh, 20 and under as well, so we've got to keep that in, in mind when looking at some of these players. So, Brinda Singh, although... He might be good, but he's just not even 
not really what we need, and he's 33. We'll keep coming back to it. We've got more time now that we're actually setting up some scouting reports. Should leave on the 1st of December. Oh, is he coming out earlier then? Because the other guy said that he wouldn't talk to us yet. He's got great jumping reach. I wish we knew more. I wish we just like knew a little bit more. He's pretty good. Although, for some reason, it's... I don't know why... Right, this is quite annoying, right? He's clearly a centre-back, so why does the game default to him being a right-back and then compare him to other right-backs? That's quite annoying. Um, I, I don't know why it does that, when he's clearly not a, not a right-back. Like, he's clearly a centre-back. So, he's definitely got room to improve. Oh, shit, wrong button. Oh, my God's sake. Right, there we go. Let's try it. Ah, see, look. That's what I mean. We can't really do anything with those at the moment, unfortunately. Yeah, like like I said though, I don't want to just take constant like re uh, like wonder kids from chat because again, it sort of ruins the part of the save where we find cool players. Isaac Patterson, we are actually looking at Isaac Patterson at the moment. Uh, oh yeah, we've still got more games as well, haven't we? Just occurred to me, the season isn't bloody over yet, is it? We've still got two matches to go. <laughs> Yeah, it's quite annoying. I, I didn't used to do that before, so I, I would like them that they would fix that. Yeah, it's that's annoying. What about us competitors? <laughs> uh, oh, shit. That's not good. Well, we are looking at them, but the same kind of thing happened with him. Does it save in the SPL? No. Not as far as I remember, anyway. Uh, no, don't think so. Oh, I see. Oh, hello. Oh. Really? Yeah, because that's what we need right now. Cheers, the board. The board, like, we've just been promoted. Do we need new scouts, coaches? No, I think we need a second performance analyst. That'll make the difference. That'll nail it for us. Uh, let's see. First division team of the week. No surprises there. Although, actually, it was only two guys. Player of the year, 22 and 26. Yep, I'd say he probably deserves that. Well done, Espy, you big lad. Player advice. Okay, anything that's worth taking a look at in here? Not really just yet. Right. Oh, that's something as well I've noticed. Sometimes the XG graph doesn't match up with what it says in the stats. So your actual match stats will say like 0 0.72, but then the XG graph at half time will be like, you're at 0 0.43, and I'm like, I don't think I am, bruv. Oh, Luxovic. Mitrovic, rather. Yes, we were meant to look at him, weren't we? He should be available because obviously, uh, there he is. Oh, he's on 60 grand a week. His record for Fulham is pretty astonishing, though. Like, a goal every other game, basically, is not bad in the grand scheme of things. Particularly playing for Fulham. So that's Mitrovic. Obviously, we don't know much about him, but so far in his first season... Let's see how... Oh, dear. That kind of mimics him in the real life in many ways. <laughs> so far this season, he's not been at his best, poor sod. I feel for him. Right. Are these contracts up immediately? I wish you could bloody see here. Like, it'd be nice if this could be extended because it's just hiding the only part of this that matters. Although we could just sort it, couldn't we? So we could see who's actually expiring. So, Brageberg Ped Pedersen here. He could probably do with a new deal, couldn't he? Please tell me he's got a clause or something. What would also be excellent is if it didn't fucking rearrange it when you go back again. That would be just wonderful. That that stuff is really annoying. When it, and then when you resort it, it then puts it in a different order. Oh, dear. Was that another wrong way? Yeah, okay, so that's fine. Magnus Anderson and... 27. Fringe player. What do they mean enough time remaining? His contract expires in a month. What are they talking about? Although, to be fair, I feel like getting some players like this off the wage bill might not be the worst idea. Just to sort of... Like, who's on the most money out of these guys, firstly? So, Magnus Anderson is a 34-year-old winger. There's no way he's staying, and that will free up even more cash for us. Sigurd Gronli... Absolutely no interest. We'll try it anyway. No. Okay, so he's... he's ne he was never going to sign for us anyway. Andre Borsch-Nash. We've looked at him before, haven't we? What position does he play? Central midfielder, born in midfielder. What's he like as box to box? 
The question is how much money he wants, really. Um, back on my XG, I had like... Everyone else sucked. Hey, that's all you need, really. The, there's little UI changes that I would like to see, yeah. Bonjour, Makai. How are you, man? He's wanted by who? Other teams in our league. Let's see how much he wants. Like, 325 currently. If he wants Mega... Ma I actually don't mind doing that because I don't see him playing games for us too soon. And by the time, if he's good enough to play first team games, it suggests that he might actually be worth that amount of money. So if he fancies, essentially, he's taking a wage cut. What? What in earth is going on here? Why is he acting like we'd have look? That's usually isn't that a different color? Or is that another UI glitch? Isaac Hansen Arrowim. I think we looked at him before. Uh, that's not how you spell his name. That's the guy from Man United. I don't know why we'd get him, though, because he doesn't play... I mean, you could play him deeper, I suppose, but then... Oh, I got a soul shot. I'd get re on my back. I don't think we can organize a loan anyway yet. Oh, so we can't loan him anyway because he's too young. I don't think he'd sign for us anyway, even on loan, but... Right. Who else? The only other guy that I'm kind of interested in giving another contract to might be this guy, Braga Berg Pedersen. Because he could play slightly deeper. But he... I don't know. Is it really worth it? I, I did actually know that, Zurin. Yeah. They are very, very far north. Yeah, I know you can offer loans outside of Windows, but not if he's below the age of loans availability. Um, well, we've, we've come to respect that Makai is in fact French. He has one of the most... The least French-sounding names, though, in Makai. Uh, Maersk, thank you so much for the host, my man. Is that the shipping company? So the back you're breaking the part. Ah, it's because you're not Isaac Kirko Orne. Only one man can pull off such feats. The striker Chelsea signed from Tromsø. Um, if I don't know, if you don't remember his name, then I won't be able to remember his name either. Um, because I wasn't here when he signed for Chelsea. Although we may have a better chance of getting someone like that back, just because. But I'd want to try to avoid loans because we can afford to buy real players uh, and actually have them permanently right now. So there's really no point in us getting loads of loans for no reason, unless there's like something ridiculously good about them. How much is that? Okay, it's fine. Fiabema. I imagine that they would probably want us to... Yeah, no. It might be because it's outside. The problem is I found that some of the... As much as you can arrange loan signings outside of the windows now, it feels like if the other club themselves aren't in a window, then they still seem to say no most of the time. So it's a little bit annoying, but we'll see. Ooh. Wow, he's very, very good, despite not being... Julian von Hocker. Wow. So he's playing for Austria Klagenfurt, which the name alone is... He's intriguing. Because I don't know if... I think we could get one less than that because he's German. So we'd be able to use the wage clauses potentially. I'm actually going to take some money on that deal. Zien Jones. Oh, he's a left side. Oh, he's American. Hmm... He's quite interesting too. Could we get him on a pre-contract? Really? Uh, where is he? Oh, I don't think we can. Not as far as I know, anyway. The name's cool too. Yeah, I don't think we can get him on a pre-contract. His contract's still got another sort of... Oh, we could wait a bit though, potentially, and get him on a pre-contract. The question is whether that would... um. We'll definitely keep an eye on him, though. Because getting him for free would be even better. Zian Jones, I'm interested in this guy, too. I know they would cost us money, so we've got to be careful with that. And I know we're spending scouting budget here. HJK. But we, they're so much beneath us. We, we wouldn't check them out. There's no need to. They're so far beneath us, it's unbelievable. Ashraf Ramsey, great jumping reach. I mean, he could either be excellent or dreadful. And he's actually playing in Morocco, so I don't know why we're seeing him here. This could be... I've got to be super careful with doing that too much. Okay, so this guy's in Norway, so this shouldn't cost us money to scout. Uh, Michael Baidu. He plays for Jerv. Oh, they might... Oh, he's on loan, though. But we can still get an idea of what he's like. So one thing I want to do, actually, is see whether the work... who's actually been relegated from the top flight, if they have been yet. So not yet. I mean, to be fair, they are going down, aren't they? 
So we'll get a team report on start. Uh, wait, it's in... Like that. And... Just in case. Are you going to play the last two games? Yeah. I mean, obviously. We, we have to... We're just planning some transfer stuff now. But we're still going to play the games. I'm not sure how we wouldn't. Um, it goes well to me. You can go to negative as well as you do it all in one day. That's the plan. I just wanted to give me my new budget because I don't want to put money in there until they actually let me have more. Because if you put money into your scouting budget before they assign the new one, it just disappears into like the ether, unfortunately. Right. Uh, good crowd expected. Informed from sub point hall. Good, good, good. Your Hansen signs a new deal. Oh, that's our assistant. Yeah. Jonas Johansson. Lovely name. Good stuff. Wait, who's that new contract for? One of our best players. I mean, I, I've enjoyed his goals this season, Forrest, with the rare appearances he's made, but one of our best players, I'm not sure I trust you. We'll have a look. I mean, I don't know if we can even scout. Oh, no, we should be able to because they're Scandinavia. Oh, thank God they're actually in here as HJK. Uh, let's get a team report on them as well, eh? You never know. I probably should have sounded some different scouts as well. Okay, here we go. That's one of them. So team report. And then players. And then... Oh, yeah, you have to add the... Uh, or is it transfer? Nope. There used to be one you could go straight to that, like... Nah, I'll just do general add them myself. I need to make, like, a, spe a separate filter for this, really. Ability. And... Potential. There we go. Okay, so... Oh, he's on loan. But who is he on loan from? Sarpsborg. Striker. Pressing forward. Very good potential finishing. They did not start or finish their season well. The middle bit wasn't too great either. <laughs> Ooh, he's an interesting boy. Perhaps. I assume that's his, like, contract with them and not his contract with Sarpsborg. Yeah, okay. Interesting. We'll get a bit more of it. More information on you. Anyone else? There's a couple of centre-backs here, which is ironic, really, considering how bad they've been at the back this... Ooh. I assume that's because of his potential money. He isn't playing regularly. How do you know? I, 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 again, there's only so many times I can say I'm not just going to sign every single player from the chat. Because um, otherwise, again, it, it kind of gets a bit boring if we do that. But there he is. I, again, he's an attacking midfielder. I mean, we could play him slightly deeper. But... I don't see him... He's played 21 games in the top flight this year. Like, I, he's definitely playing for them. 1.2 million pounds. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get him somehow. Um, it's weird that they're rated so low. I guess it's because they want loads of money. How about Jesper Dorland? What? This is nonsense to me. Is it because they want huge money for him? But they're not that expensive. I'm going to get transfer uh, scout reports on these two as well. Goalkeeper, we're looking at another guy right now. Attacking midfield left, not really for us. Any, like, high potential youngsters that we can maybe poach? I should probably put age on here too, actually, shouldn't I? Just so we've got an idea of, like, we're not signing 30 years. Because remember, we do have to pay attention to that because the board expects us to sign... Um... I could have sworn age was in general. Is age not in general? I could have sworn he was in general. Or is it already on the thing? Or is it hidden? Ah, cheeky. Right, okay, that's better. Uh, potential. So their best player seems to be this guy. Adam Eftvarg. But he's not really what we need right now. Yeah, I know, but like he's clearly playing for them. And he's also worth £1.2 million. So he's not going to sign for a newly promoted side. Well, I mean, he might, but we wouldn't be able to afford him anyway. Let's check out ex classmate Sebastian Strolz. Let's have a look. If I could actually press the right buttons. That would help. Uh, uh, that isn't how you spell Sebastian, Matt. Like, that, that would be a good start, wouldn't it? Uh, let me get... There's more letters needed here. Throw. Hey, there he is. Krakowia's second team. I'm sorry I don't have more information for you there, bud. But that is currently him so far. If this is the guy. I'm assuming it is. But then again, 4-11 in, in... Division. Uh, yeah. That could be it, yeah. What we might do is wait until the season's actually done, because otherwise we're just sort of... We're clutching at straws a little bit. 
But again, zero striker. As I said, if we take every single suggestion from chat, we'll be here all day and we find ourselves in situations like that where we just end up looking at players that have no possible chance of signing for us. So we have to draw the line somewhere. That's just why I normally just use the scouting reports because it's just easier to actually see what they bring us and then decide based on that because that's what you'd have sort of in real life to a certain extent anyway. Right then, let's have a game. Riffy Mandanda, I think I mentioned his name last time. That's an awesome name. Oh, there we go. That's better. Let's get it. Oh, no worries, man. But like, you can sort of understand my point because if I just said, like, if chat, if, if, if every single player that chat put, I then had to look at, because most of the time it's players that we can't sign anyway, we just, we'd be here all day and we wouldn't be progressing and actually looking at players that we could sign. It's like when you signed Steve Mandanda from Wish. We've got Steve Mandanda at home. Steve Mandanda at home. More balanced. Just based on your part. I say so. I think you can do a bit of both, El Portuguese. I think you can build a tactic that works. But I feel like you could get more out of it if you are willing to make tweaks. Well, that's certainly my experience so far, with particularly with the Spurs save. Twitch plays FM. Can you imagine? Would that even work? I suppose you could set that up. I mean, it'd be a mess. Much like me playing FM normally. Ah, Martin Odegaard. Yes. I've heard good things. We do, Quinn, uh, Quimby, but he, he's leaving at the end of the season. Did he just... He did, didn't he? That was definitely a Rabona cross. I seen it. Let's lose 10 nil. I don't think we could even do that if we tried at this point. Although it would be nice to beat Kongsvinger. Because you've got to beat Kongsvinger. Don't want them get promoted. Who'd ever want them promoted, eh? Grunny not the same as old FM. Um, he may be, but it doesn't matter because he won't sign for us. Uh, Viceroy, thank you so much for the gifted sub to El Portugues. That's awesome, man. Big up Vice. What a lad. And he now moves into second on the leaderboard, which I'm guessing might be part of his motivations there. Thank you so much, man. Honestly, that's awesome. Um, I don't know if he's the same or not. I never had him on old FMs, but the point is he won't sign a new contract. Oh, Fiti Mazimi, 1-0 Tromsa. Good stuff. Yeah, that's what I mean, Hadrian. It does feel like you can... Um, you can make changes based on things you see and what you want to have happen most often will actually happen. That's the biggest change for me over FM from last year. For me. I hope that they destroy you. How dare you, Kev? Me and you are about to have a fight, bud. 1v1 me, brother. <laughs> right, okay. 1-0. Um, Good start. Azimi scoring again. He might actually catch my man Runo at this point. The fact that we're going to have two players over 20 goals in a season that only has 30 games in it. It's quite impressive for us, really. And Azimi's in there again, and he's nearly scored. Uh, we will check out Jens Hauger after the match. What's in the leaderboard? Never. We've been there before. What's building a nation? So the idea behind building a nation, uh, this is a little bit of information, but I'll tell you a bit more anyway, because it's easier. The idea is we're going to try and make Norway the best league overall, i.e. on the UEFA coefficients, the things that decide things like Champions League groups, that sort of stuff. Now, the way you do that, obviously, is by performing well yourself, but you have to get the league itself to perform well beyond just your own performances. So by loaning good players to other teams in Norway, once you reach that point, obviously, right now we're just concentrating on building ourselves, loaning them players that are really good when you've started to build up quite a collection, uh, selling them players on the cheap, buying their players when they're going to sell them abroad so that you can either loan them back to them or just they get more money from you that way. Things like that to try to give them more money. Uh, to build the league up as a whole. Now, obviously, a lot of that's out of your hands, but that's kind of part of the fun of it because you have to rely on them doing horrendous stuff sometimes. And uh, that's part of the fun with it, really. We are second tier, although we're about to not be because we've got 69 points. Oh, yeah, there's way greater variety. The match engine is so much more... Well, the reason for that is because the players are making decisions based on the scenarios and not just based on, like, being on rails almost. So that's part of the reason, essentially. You'll see a lot more variation in goals purely because of that alone and it's awesome which is why i still believe that like decision making is a really important factor to take into account when signing players this year i've yet to see how much in, how much importance it has but it's, it's gonna be interesting to find out basically well that's the reason i wanted to i felt this was the perfect stream save because i thought i wanted to do a long-term save where we get legends for the ages but a save that wasn't just over wow we've conceded god damn that wasn't just over the moment we won the Champions League. And it gives you something to do after that where you can still enjoy it. That's kind of the idea. The screw-ups are way better. I have noticed a few more situations where a player will get the ball in their corner area. Play an aimless ball across the box and your players intercept it. I've seen a few too many of those, but that's about it. 
play with Bran in FM20. Nice. They are so fun. Sharing your yogurt with your dog. So would that be Doggart at that point? Fourth tier Slovenia. What team? I'm sure I'll, I'll definitely know it, obviously. My knowledge of the Slovenia fourth tier is top tier, my man. Try being a Newcastle fan in real life. Oh, don't talk to me about what it's difficult. <laughs> Newcastle won. Imagine Fulham winning. This is like pain. This is like suffering Olympics right now. <laughs> Fulham v Newcastle. Oh, whoever has the funniest name. Oh, kind of what we got then. What we got. Well, we're actually about to screw this up here, aren't we? Good. Well done, lads. As long as we still win. I mean, we've already won the league, but that's a bit annoying. Bloody Kongsvinger. Coming over here, stealing a point from the mighty Tromser. Muller corner. Good stuff. Goes back to seven on the bench and three players you can actually sub. Yeah, that to be fair, I've mostly been making three subs anyway because I'm so stuck in that mindset. Yeah, Joe Linton scoring. Uh, admittedly, when I saw he scored, in my head I was like, wow, good. And then I saw the goal and I went, oh, I see how that's gone in. There's no way that goes in if it doesn't hit the defender, is it? <laughs> you, you could shout, give up. I don't know, Shockblade, maybe. It's not what I've seen just yet. As in one of the shouts down here. Because if it is down here, then it's a bad translation, then yeah. I wonder what that would mean. Is that calm down, perhaps? Such an Emmanuel Riviere go, indeed. Uh, let's thrash arms. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gunderson didn't like that one. Prediction for Chelsea Spurs. Is it Chelsea at home to Spurs? Oh God, look at all the We're getting the injuries at the right time, i.e. when the season is done and it doesn't matter anymore. Right, we'll get the last game out of the way and then we'll properly focus on things. Because really, we kind of have to get to January anyway in order to get these uh, some of these players. Oh, hang on. Are we now able to go back in for those lads, though? Oh, this is cool. I like the fact that this is built in. That's a nice little feature. Is he more willing to chat? No. Ah, okay. Now he doesn't care. Okay, so yeah. But this might change when we get promoted, perhaps. Thoughts. There's also this guy, the guy from Iran, that's playing at uh, Sunsval. Anonymous with the gifted sub to Krenketh. Thank you so much, Anonymous, you big legend. That's really really nice of you sub hype you honestly don't have to do that chelsea you're at home that's gonna be a cracking game what time's that half four that's i'm really looking forward to watching that i hope i can get that video done in time to see that i honestly couldn't possibly predict that but stay for the personality and vibe chat you heard it here i have a vibe what is my vibe if i had a vibe what would it be would it be incompetence i feel like it would be thank you man that's extremely nice of you i'm trying to get better at taking compliments and i think i handled that one well so oh good stuff right um yeah he's not actually that good is he although he is free and free is my favorite flavor what was that other oh no he's the lone guy i might potentially get where was the other lad oh of course it's my man vetle from before hmm okay so We'll leave that for now. See if it's a oh well, wow. okay. Oh, it's all the HJK. It's all the HJK boys. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, I mean, I can see why you wanted this guy in, but like, he maybe if we'd got him before he signed that new contract, I still don't think he would have signed for us. To be fair, a banging player though. To be fair, uh, Von Hawker, we can't get him yet because uh, we have to wait till January to get him because he's his contract expires at the end of uh, the full season. So we need to wait for January 1st before we can get him on a pre-contract deal. Although I am very excited. That being said, I do wonder how much they'd actually want for him. But then if we can get him for free, there's no point in us spending money on him at this point because obviously we are not exactly flush with cash. Yeah, it was the centre-back guy. It was... Um, Oh, it was Alexander Abramson. It was one that Wolfie suggested. Uh, let's have a look. Because he... Oh! Okay, hang on. One sec. I just want to make sure that he's worth it first. I didn't click walk away. Let that be noted. I didn't press it. Heading's not great. But he is tall and he's got good jumping reach. Aggression and bravery are like above a reasonable level. And if we could get him on this kind of money, I'd say he's worth doing. Yeah, Austria plays the sa the standard kind of uh, southern Europe, i.e. anything below Norway, really. 
Anything I'm not liking. No consistency problems. He's fluent in... Well, I guess he... He speaks Scandi, which is the main thing. Okay, let's try it. I'm excited about him. If we could actually get it for these kind of prices, I would be freaking happy. And he's a breakthrough prospect. They don't even want like... Oh, yeah. Sorry, my apologies, Munch. We'll have a look for him in a sec. Right, okay. Optional extension. No, we will not use those. We'll put... Like, I'm happy to give him more of those. And we'll get rid of that because I don't really think we're going to get relegated. Although, you know, time will tell. If he gets an international appearance, I'll give him 525. But for now, look a bit more on there. Okay. Hang on. Sorry, what? So what the fuck's this? For? I suppose it's because he's only 50% scouted. Jesus Christ. All right, fine. This is a bit of a risk here, but I think we could probably placate, placate him by giving him like a something like that. Still not fantastic. He does want a lot more than we were expected. But he is that would still be less than he's earning currently. Why on earth would they expect his average, his estimated wage to be half of what he's currently on when he's quite a hot prospect in many ways? Oh, well, we'll get through it anyway. Oh, yeah, I know he's not getting international cap. That's why I love those clauses. Right, let's have a look through these player searches while we're here. Uh, we've got... Did him. Let's go Jens Hauger. That's not even close to how you spell Jens, man. I, I hope you mean Jens Petterhauger, because this is he. I think we've looked at him before, actually. Uh, let's see. Sorry about that, Adam. Yeah, it's when we're in the middle of matches, I can't do the player lookup, so I, I do need to be reminded, so thank you. So that's Jens Petterhauger um, playing Formula. Well, is he playing? I mean, he's getting the odd little substitute appearance and cup, cup appearance, but... I mean, I would say try and get him on loan, but come on. <laughs> Unless they're giving us for free. I think we're going to struggle with that one as it goes. Joe Bell. I'd be surprised if this guy's in the database. Oh, he is. Oh, he's a Viking. That's why. I literally just saw that as well. Okay, so he is in there. New Zealand international, though. More of a ball winning player, but I'll get him scouted anyway, because why the hell not at this point? Flamo Costrati. I think we actually did see him. I swear. Let's have a look. Hopefully he's still around. Oh, no. Castrati. There he is. At uh, Christensen. Tell you what, right? The only thing he lacks is a little bit of speed, but actually his decisions are very poor, and I do think that's important this year. We'll get a scout report on him anyway, because why the hell not? Where do I'm from... Let's just say Cambridge. That kind of area of the UK. Already want to discombobulate my phone into a thousand pieces. Oh, what happened, Inferno? Tell us tell us your feels, my friend. Hey, internationals, no. Oh, we've got a couple, I think. Maybe. I swear we have seen... I think it's mostly like underage teams, though. Kevin Walker, we were... Bear in mind, the board want us to sign 20 or under. So... Yeah, bear that in mind. That's part of our... Uh... Oh, yeah, he's 31. No chance. Plus, I don't want to sign players like that anyway because you just... You lose money on them every single time. You're never going to get back what you put in. And they usually want higher wages because they're older. So I tend to avoid them. And it does help that the board are, like, desperate for us to sign under the age of 20. God, that's not even 20. They want under 20s. That's actually quite hard. Iquel, thank you for the follow. And Morco as well. Thank you for the follows, guys. It's very kind of you. So, yeah, we play a DLP and a BBM. You're Cambridge-ish too. Yes, I am Cambridge-ish. Uh, by that, I mean, like, it's a half an hour drive for me to get to Cambridge. And when Emma and I move, it'll probably be a half an hour drive to get to Cambridge. Just a different part of the country. Oh, in Australia. We actually do have quite a lot of viewers from Oz. Generally speaking, because... Oh, I say quite a lot. Like, a reasonable amount for me. Because I tend to stream in the mornings. And as a result, that means the Aussies get to watch. Uh, Yeah, no. We'll leave him. Scouting meeting, yeah. Ooh. Mr. Kosovo here, but then it's he's 25 and we we may have to sign... Oh my God, he's really good though, isn't he? And he's free. Who's he wanted by? Odds. He's wanted by a top flight team as well. What do we reckon, chat? Oscar Pettersson wouldn't talk to us. He didn't think our squad was strong enough, but we're not done on him yet because maybe when we tick over into the new year and we're a top flight side, perhaps he might change his mind. Uh, I could do with a refill, M, actually. Benetta, 95. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, it's... I thought it was 20 or under, or 21 and under, which is reasonable. 20 
under 20 is very difficult. We're going to have to really... I, I realize that I say that and then we're looking at a 25-year-old immediately afterwards, but this guy has some... Yeah, look at the crossing. We'll scout him more. I'm intrigued by him more than anything else. This guy is under 18. This guy is 18, which is why I'm more interested because he would fit our uh, club vision. As much as it would cost us each time. I swear we've already... Maybe we didn't do him before. Erlen Tongvik. Keeper. Free. Potentially. But 23 again. Obviously, we won't sign every single player under there. Um, but we need enough to, comp to sort of placate the board. Oh, yeah. 25. I'm happy to sign him. For sure. Um, but we want to make sure the board don't get pissy and sack us or something. God after me, dog. Oh, good afternoon to you too, mate, Wixie. Most streamers are just... Yeah, well, exactly. That's why I like to stream at a different time. Yeah, different audience. I quite like... Plus, we could call him Quacker. So, there's that. That's why I already clicked Scout Player. Why is he still there? Or is it because I didn't click it on the other screen? He... Ah, he's in Sweden. We can have a look. Uh, Jakob Tornander. Swedish. 20. Still not fantastic. Uh, Sucheri Vehnen. 18. Okay, better. Glenn Walker. Didn't we look at a guy called Kevin Walker a minute ago? There we go. Ran iron. Ooh, interesting. Maybe some potential there as well. There's going to be a lot of this now. Is he... Oh, yeah, actually, it's a good question, Kev, if you feel like telling us. How has uh, my man Quacker, who I will now be referring to him as Quacker, been for you so far? He's a Broma Poikana. Hmm. Yeah, I, I like show balance. For, oh, no, the finances. I mean, the finances are in the dump, but that we're working with this. 300k and about 20k in wages. Like, that's what we're actually really working with. Albert Brot Shoreland, cousin of Holland. Yeah, but I guess if it's his cousin, that doesn't make him good at football, does it? I, mean, I imagine he's probably fine, but yeah, that's weird. Um... Oh, it's a Segunda. A natural Segunda Volante at, at 18 years old. I mean, that alone is worth a scout. <laughs> Lucas Lingman. Oh, he's a Roman playmaker. Wow. HAK have got some bizarre, like, natural roles in their team. Enoch Banza. Oh, is it? No, he's not really what we want. He's too far um, pushed up and inverted as well. Trinkvason. He's Icelandic, but he is at start. So we'll get the Bubakar Jallo. Oh, he's more of an anchor. Wow. 5.5 million. That's insane. Been top notch. Interesting. Rules for signings? No signings. Rules, really. Like, once we get big and, in theory, start dominating Norway, then we'll try to avoid signing players from our main rivals so that the league stays strong. But other than that, we don't have any, like, concrete rules per se. He's 21. It's going to be quite hard to find some. Oh, hello. Rasmus Rosenqvist. Free transfer, potentially. So he's interesting. Bader Gir... Wow, we'll get a few players from Morocco coming through, but he's quite expect. Wait, hang on, what? Uh, he's one of the classic... Di Pfft, what? <laughs> Cheers, game. Cheers, game. Well done. You're the only person from Norwich? I don't think you are. Uh, I'm pretty certain Taunicus, when he's around, is from Norwich. Who was worth it? Is it Carlson? No, nah, he's probably not quite good enough there. Uh... 17, but we're sort of getting into the the dredges a little bit. Oh, I'm still curious about this guy. Just based on his, like, he's at Gangomp. 27, though. He may be free. Let's see if there's any interesting trialees potentially in here. No, they're too old. Hmm. Oh, which team did you pick, the land? All right, let's have a look at Albert Braut Schorland. Ah, Mulder under 19s. He's only 16. I don't like. I don't see the point really at this point. I don't think they'd sell him to us, and a 16-year-old is not really going to make that much difference for us currently. But is that actually his cousin then? Oh, it's not really because it's too hard. It's just like I normally just pick a team that's interesting to me in some way. What do you think of Axel Mulder? I I don't know because again, like I, I mean, yeah, you know what I'm going to say. So, um. 
I mean, I just don't know. We, we have no information on him. We'll find out, though. We'll get a bit of information. Oh, was there more? Uh, oh, yeah, I didn't see that one. My apologies. Oh, it's Mika. Okay. Mika Koskel. Oh, no, Koskel, I meant. Oh, wait, what? Uh, he doesn't appear to be in it unless I'm spelling his name wrong. Hello there. Let me just type in Koskela and see what comes up. Oh, sadly, no. He's not in the database. That's weird. Got banned because of my username. Thank you very much for the follow, man. I assume it's Valen. Oh, no. Yeah, it actually is username. Abrahamson. I think for the price we're paying, it's fine, you know? Playing with attribute masking. No, it's your YouTube saves generally are. No, no, they always are. Every single save I've ever done on YouTube, Hello. Twitch has always had attribute masking turned on. It's no fun if you don't have attribute masking turned on. Basically. I've never, ever played a save without attribute masking on. It kind of ruins the fun if you can see all their attributes straight away. So I've the reason it you probably think that it's like that on YouTube is because most of the time when I'm showing you a player, they're fully scouted. So, yeah. You want sense? Then he had it on. Um, I don't really know, Cool and Job. We're going to find out, I suppose. I assume it just has, like, there's obviously going to be some negative effects on the team. The sort of signings you'll be able to make. Stuff like that, really, I'd say. Hello, then. You're right. Oh, as in had no attribute masking. Yeah, I just don't find it fun. Player of the year. Well done, Espy. Considering he had that blip, he's managed a hell of a season. Okay, so Borsch Nash is committed to us, which is fine. I mean, like I said, I can consider names all we like, but, you know, we can't look at every single player, otherwise it just gets a bit ridiculous. Um, oh, bloody headphones. Right, let's get this final game of the league done so we can actually concentrate on signings properly. <laughs> just as well we've got these injuries and suspensions now, really, isn't it? That'll do. Ooh, 442 versus 442. What could possibly go wrong there? Hired John Arnarisa as an assistant manager. The first thing I did was storm out of the press conference. You guys got to stick one in early. Yeah, they'll put us on really low transfer rev and stuff like that. I think it takes too long to scout, but think about it like this. That's how it would be in real life. You're not going to know everything about a player straight away. So, yeah. Hello. Ah. Six, eight. That's a great... That's just a cracking game. Uh, Albie Man. Thank you for the follow, mate. I like that he's motivated before we've even started. That's a good sign. Come on, lads. Make a difference. I know you want to. It's 6-9. Oh, but is it to cash 6-9? That is the real question. Did we find out what the record for points was in this league? Was it like 7... Was it like 70 or something? Because I swear we're quite close to it. I mean, the win obviously would still only allow us to equal it. Yeah, I'm not, the only time I ever turn attribute masking off is when I'm doing prep for things like Streamer Showdown. And then I'll just load all the players I need, then turn attribute masking off and set myself as Man City so I can see them all. Oh, SP's through. Go on, son. Bang it, bud. And he's missed the goal. And I just got messaged on Facebook, so I'm going to make sure I turn Messenger off. Let's just... There we go. Right, got rid of that. Marcus Rashford. No, tell me more. I am I am intrigued. Most guy I've ever scored. I think I scored 16 once with Red Star against a team from Luxembourg in like a Europa qualifier. It might have been over two legs though, so I might be misremembering that. 79 points. Oh, in that case, we've got no chance. At one point, we were looking very much like that was doable because we did win nine and draw one of our first 10, but then the then the uh, the brakes kind of had to be put on. Azimi's all the way through and oh, ho, ho, nicely done, my friend. Nearly. What's the biggest win you've ever had on FM chat? Adamola, look, he's a great penalty taker. Top quality penalty taker. Him and Ivan Cavallero are the ultimate penalty taking masterclass team. I've got to say. You will not find better than them. 31 nil. Was it Australia versus American Samoa? As Espy smashes it home. There we go. 23 for the season. I think mine was 16. Olsen got 20. Wow. Yeah, I think it was two legs with mine. I, I, I have hit 10 before. I'm certain of that. I'm not normally in a position because usually when I've got a side that's strong enough to do that, they're not normally in a round of a European competition where they could hit those kind of numbers. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think we'll be too bad on the debt thing. Parahawks, thank you for the follow, mate. Hope you're having a lovely morning. Afternoon, rather. Like, we are in a bit of debt, but I'm hoping that just being in the top flight should help us. And obviously, we'll have to if we have to sell players at some point, then we will, you know? It's not like the board will give us a choice. A slide of oh, I'm sorry, Vice. That sucks. Yeah, we have had a few dropped frames, but it's only been 0.4, which is reasonable. I'll try to keep it under one if I can. Ah, uh, right, that's new. What's that? Okay. First game's at two, isn't it? The Man United Saints game. Which is actually part of the reason I chose to stream today, because it means we're not going up against football matches. <laughs> That's usually how I judge when I'm going to stream on the weekends. Whether I'm picking Saturday or Sunday, it's like, which game is on? How do I avoid it? Hopping over from YouTube. Nice, Parahawks. Awesome. It's good to see you, man. Thank you for coming by. Welcome to Throm, sir. Oh, dear. Okay, so that's another goal for Runa. Up to 24 for the season now. He's certainly finished with a bit of a flourish. Are you watching the game? <laughs> I mean, I'm watching this game. Uh, I'm not going to be able to watch the Saints game because I'll be streaming during it. But, uh, well, I might be able to do the second half. No, I can't even do that. I've got to record a video straight after this uh, stream as well. So I'm probably not going to be done with that until about half four, five o'clock today. Scotty Parks. Any relation to Scotty Parker by any chance? Thank you for the follow, mate. Oh, that's definitely a goal. That is definitely a Oh, well done. Wow, he was going down to pick that up before they'd even left his foot. <laughs> I've done follow. You. I can't be mad at you. <laughs> Not that beautiful face. Yeah, we should probably make subs now, actually. Um, get. Screw it. Let's get Grunny. It's the last time he's going to play for us, is it? In it. So, may as well get him on now. Get hash that on for the seaman, man. No, hate that guy. How? Oh, you. There'll be no Scotty Parker hate in this chat. Roy MPG. Thank you for the follow, man. 79 is very, very high. Like, I mean, we're not, we've had a very good season by what I would say probably. Oh, it's a hat-trick for Runa. Well, at least he's going to finish off the season with a hat-trick to get to 25 goals for the season. I could have sworn he was on slightly more than that. Like, I feel like he was definitely on more. That should watch Fulham. You may be a lucky charm. I mean, the game's on tomorrow, so I probably will watch it. Given that I support them and all. <laughs> like, I, I do plan to. Um, it's, what, 5.30, I think? Mitch Rich's top scorer. Well, there you go. There's still hope for us yet, eh? There isn't. Not if we get battered again. This is Norway, Scotty. I think it's a pretty deserved victory to finish things off. I mean, these guys are... Actually, they're kind of mid-table, so this is a good result. Doing a Cambridge save. Nice. Oh, don't concede now. Oh, well done. Oh, he's offside anyway. I thought, was his name Longass? because I'm a huge fan of that. Roy MPG with the tier one sub as bloody well. Thank you, man. Thank you so much, Roy. That is extremely nice of you, man. Hope you're well today. And Azimi's in. Yeah, the 442 is actually working well. The only reason I picked it was because when we got here, that seems to be the shape they were playing in real life. And I thought, you know what? It's been a while since I've just gone 4 4 fucking 2 So we tried it. And yeah, we're doing all right with it. Come on. Oh, 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 oh never mind. Didn't watch Chelsea, we lost. Watched Palace and we won. Now I believe, yeah. So for a while, when, when Fulham were in the Premier League last time around, I didn't see us, and by that I mean watch a game on TV or in some form, win a match until we beat Everton, which was like the 33rd match day of the season. Every Fulham game I watched in some means, we would not win. And every time I missed a game, we, we won. I was helping my sister move one time, we, we won a game. I was at like an event one time, we won a game. It's like not watching them was the best thing I could do for them. Yeah, we're in our own league. I wish we could just stay in the championship. It's way more fun. It's nice seeing your team win matches, to be honest. It's one of the great things about the championship. Yeah, we'll have a look in a minute, Bondon, because we're going to have to take a look at that division anyway. So that is that. So who goes down? Studio Ghibli go down. Lol. Uh, Grorud very comfortably going down. And it looks like Uygarden are in the uh, playoff. I don't know how that works with the tiers below, but we'll see. Post Nord Ligan. I like that. It makes it sound like it's like part of history. Good. Oh, Iron Brew. I could do with an Iron Brew, actually. Close to petition in Sky to move Newcastle games to times which work for me. Hey. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Olsen's. We'll have a look at the top flight here. Well, well, well. That's very interesting. I know that uh, Bodo won it in real life. That was quite a surprise, was it not? And the fact that they're actually doing it in the game as well? FF 
them have got their, like, models really on point here. I'm actually impressed with that. Uh, Orsund, sort of mid-table, sadly. Nothing special there, unfortunately. Didn't win a six years. Good God, man. That's appalling. Yeah, don't watch Fulham penalties. Never do that. That's that's bad for everybody involved, especially me. And with no Halga too, yeah. I mean, obviously they haven't won it yet, but four points clear, better goal difference. I don't know what the remaining fixtures are like, but who have they got? Sarpsborg will be 11th, Starbeck 7th, and then obviously Olsen. So that's a pretty good running, to be fair. Hello? I love that Stark came last. They obviously started later than everybody else. Raz, thank you for the follow, mate. Named off the postal service. Oh, yeah, no, I figured it was. Um, I mean, post means mail in the UK as well. Uh, they look... Yeah, I'd say they're safe. 34 points. I mean, they're not technically safe, are they? But they're, they're as good as safe, I'd say. Kasper Juncker. Good stuff. I mean, he's bloody hell. He's quite good, actually, isn't he? Where did they get him from? Oh, I came from... Colding! I remember Colding! If we lose tomorrow, do you think Scotty Parker... You leave me... You leave me hanging. If you mean get sacked, then absolutely not. It never in a million years. Right. That's good. So that's the league out the way. FM, yeah, it's cool that they've actually modeled that so well that, that Border are actually able to do that. Where are Rosenborg? Oh, yeah. Only just clinging to European spots. So how many... Do they get four European spots currently? So Champions League and the rest of Europa, I guess. Sandefjord have a cool badge. They do. The kits... I always find Scandinavian kits are a bit busy. Like, I've always thought that. There's just... There's too many sponsors on a lot of them. Oh, hey! <gasps> I've not seen this menu before! Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Is it just going to flash through all of these and I don't get to see them? I don't want to click that in case it takes us off this menu entirely. Ooh. Sca Scandinavian kits are very NASCAR. You're right. Can I... So if I hit back, it takes us to... Oh, thank God for that. Right. Okay, good. I was wondering why... It, is it because it was sort of mimicking the older... The, like the, the timer I have. It just wasn't visible. So there's our signings, which... I mean, Hello they've been there. decent, I guess. <laughs> Comanchino99, thank you for the follow. I mean, I guess if they want to do five subs, they can. It's not really a site that concerns me, to be honest. Um, I guess they should. So, final position first. Average home attendance, nearly 4,000. 25 goals for... Sorry, B-. minus. Won the league by seven points. Got 54 plus goal difference. But sure. But sure. But look at this start. Remember that 6-0, 8-2? Our first few matches were absolutely lethal. And we finished the season okay, although there was three draws in here, which is a bit perturbing. But to be fair, we haven't lost today on stream, which is good. Moments to remember. Biggest win. Oh, God. Putting eight past Jerv with Espion scoring five was nuts. And wasn't it like 8-0 at one point? Or was it 7-0? It was pretty good. And then the match to remember, ironically, was a 6-0 against Ralfos, where another four goals from a boy. Yeah, true. They, they obviously wanted us to not lose any matches, to be fair. Goal of the season. Is that our goal of the season? Oh, I remember that goal. That was the one that pulled that draw out. Although what I would say is, I feel like the overall goal of the season should have been that one that was scored against us by the YMCA boys. That was a belter. He got... He definitely got 11 in his first four. That much I do know. The finances. Ouchie. Oh, okay, cool. So that's the same. Somehow. No new sponsorships. Competition prize money, none. Merchandise sales, not a lot. 614 shirts. And to be fair, one of those was M buying one for me, which should be turning up in a couple of days, which is awesome. He basically did, yeah. Hello, M. I'm well excited to get your sponsor shirt. Oh, me too, love. Me too. Oh, I'm excited. I only pay for it, but... It's going to be you wearing it. Oh, dear. I'm worried about going to the shop. Why are you worried about going to the shop? Oh, because you got a hole in your trousers. Because I've got a crotch hole. Eh, everyone has a crotch hole from time to time. Happens to the best of us, my I love. everyone has a crotch hole, really. I mean, true. You, if you think about it. Oh, okay. Maybe so this is a... Men. Sorry? This is also true. So, yeah. Our strike force nailed 46 goals between them. What's on the back of the shirt? I mean, I guess the, probably, a it's, it's, probably a sponsor. Probably a sponsor because... It, sorry? I think the back of the trousers shirt is plain. Oh, of course it is. It's not going to have my name on it, is it? No, I didn't want to spend that much fucking I don't know if they even do that, to be fair. It's probably got about seven sponsors on the back of it, to be fair. So, ironically, 
our new man who we brought in didn't actually have the best of seasons compared to Sivertson. I wonder why. I also wonder why these two are separated like this, despite the fact they both played the same role. Iron Brew. Iron Brew. Oh, yes, please. Em is getting me Iron Brew from the shop. Anything else? Anything else? No. Unless you see Any something. Chocolate? Oh, maybe. If you see something I might like. Did you always say this? Do you not just be decisive? No. I like surprises. What can I say? Kitsalina wasn't great, but bearing in mind, he didn't actually... Oh, he did start. I think it's because the other guy that normally played kept getting injured. So the, the VBM was normally Antonson, but for some reason he's not featured here. It's going good, Lloyd. Full fat, of course. What are you chatting? No, 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 no. Uh, it's just a blank shirt. Like, it was expensive enough as it is. Mau, if only. I'm all out. So... Key thing is, though, but look at the assist as well. 15 for him. Lassen Nilsson got 15 as well. The right-hand side was a bit of a problem area for us, I find. This accolades. Okay, so manager rewards. Just to give you an idea here, I won the league with, like, what, seven points clear? We only won manager of the month once, and that was the first month of the save. Where's Trump's of Fan TV? Like I said, I haven't got the uh, graphics for it yet. Or, more importantly, the... Uh, really generic viking hat that i will no doubt have to purchase off amazon in order to make that one work so we got 25 goals oh this is like new records to okay this i like this is a nice feature if this actually does work properly that's cool a hulk yoga let's crack it that give me a chance to rest better than special brew i mean to be fair yes i think like a puddle is probably better than special brew update on the outside it's cold and rainy please don't wear a viking helmet no i will i'll do what i want that's what you've got them do you viking Yeah, I think that team of the season bit might be a little bit glitchy. Yeah, I do find it. Winning manager of the month does seem to be quite hard. I assume it's because you're not overachieving. And it's sort of given more to that. Oh, yeah. You might not have seen jo uh, Jakob Vestergaard in big style. But there he is. Oh. All cold blazing. Right, history in the making. Cheers. This man here from the Norwegian Football Review. It does look really nice, doesn't it, Bay Hudson? I, I really want to get one in that color. Just, I do not condone that behavior. What, wearing helmets? Your helmet. Right. Record high points total. Good. I mean, we were just... So our XG was still very high. Oh, we get X... I haven't seen the expected points one before. That's awesome. I want to see how, if anyone's really underperformed. So really, Lilström actually performed like almost bang on on this. But yeah, they really overperformed as far as their points would go, it would seem. Oh, I'll show you in a second, Godbold. It's really easy to do, but it's a bit of a hidden one. Matt or Gamora, nobody knows. Trigger such play. Oh, my apologies. Sorry, we were just looking through the thing and I couldn't get off of that screen. Where's Grorud? Holy shit. Wow, they were really bad. But also, look at this. Sanna's Ulf as well. They were really unlucky. They can see 25 more goals than they were meant to. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know it's I know it's expected goals against. Um, that's... Wow. But I like the fact that there's the expected points one. I haven't seen that yet because I've actually not finished a full season. Yeah, Lilstrom still overperformed slightly though, which is kind of interesting. Right, let's look at Sondre. Oh, we did actually have a look. Sondre Long... Longas. There he is, at Ranheim's second team. He was your next-door neighbour. Uh, your next-door neighbour is a very determined fella. Gotta say. Fuck it, we'll give him a scout anyways in Norway, and it Mighty ham cam doing mad things. Okay. Got... What? I hope this is based on the way we've played this season, because if this is not, I'm going to be pissed. Imagine that. You get promoted. Why would you do... Okay, this is something FM still needs to look at. If you get promoted with a certain style of play, I totally understand that they would perhaps want to make you play like that as well. But surely there's an expectation that you might need to change your tactics in order to stay up the following season. So that kind of pisses me off when you get stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to get rid of... Defensively solid. We weren't defensively solid, though. Why would... God's sake. Oh, come on! All right, whatever. That's really fucking annoying, that. 
Oh, well. I guess we'll have to do with that. I'm not going to change the tactics in any way because we're winning matches. And if they want us to lose matches to play different football, then they can, frankly, go to the lake house. Plans for next season. Uh... New faces around... No, mid-table. God, no. I mean, to be fair, no matter what I click, it's going to be wrong. We've got to be signing new players. Whatever. Just whatever. I hate these so much. Off we go. No, can we just leave now? Go on. Bye. Yep. Good. Cheers, lads. Negative effects. Imagine that, eh? I could have literally picked anything there and we'd have had the same effect, unfortunately. Yeah, the expected points. It's on... Um, Hello there. Where is it? This one. Performance analysis for the season. You can see the expected points and you get this little league table that pops up. Really cool. Sirali, thank you for the follow. Oh, dear. Yeah, it's still annoying to have them there, though. I don't suppose we'll get sacked over it, but the fact that they were only favoured yet they wouldn't remove even one of them is a bit annoying. So, huh, what can you do? Defensively solid. Um, well, we Bolton were very defensively solid. We didn't concede a goal in the first five league games. But this is definitely not. Yeah, it's... That's... I wish those club vision things were a bit more sensible. It seems like whatever you do the first season, the board will then insist on you doing that every single season from that moment onwards, no matter how effective it would be. Like, I'd like to think that over time we can get rid of some. It does surprise me that they wouldn't let me get, get rid of any of them. Hello there. Let's go to Throms. Sounds nearby. And like, I like how this one's just Spain. Just in general, Spain. Uh, Div IJTV. Thank you for the follow, man. Wow, Senegal. That's a very... Have we got an affiliate club in Senegal? For, is that my, maybe what that is? It's a very strange place to have just randomly there. Yeah. Predicting you to win the league record points to get D for playing the wrong ball. Exactly. Yeah, they are quite annoying. Hopefully we can get rid of them over time. Should we go Senegal? Just because it's there. Uh, yeah, I like that we've got, like, specific part of Spain or just Spain. I like that. I think we must have that Senegalese affiliate. That's the only reason, surely. Yeah, so we can go see Diambars. Go have a little chat with them. It's cool. Oh, Mike with the four-month resub. How are you, man? How are you doing? Good morning, Matt. Hope you are well. I am terrific, Mike. How are you, man? Right. So that's that. Now we might actually be able to finally get round us. Oh, that's what I was going to show you. How I did the... um. So it's on here. If you go into scouting and then preferences, there's this option here for offer trial. And you can set this to whatever number you like. I normally do four weeks just because it's easier. That, like you find out more in four weeks, generally speaking. And if they're not good, you can just bin them off anyway. Region three Turkey as well. <laughs> oh yeah, subhype, of course. Yes. How could I forget? Can't not do subhype. What is this? No worries, man. It's really, it's really useful to do though. Right, how are we doing on scouting, by the way? We still can't do anything with him just yet, can we? What about... Oh, who's he wanted by odds? Do you reckon we should go for Kaka, uh, for Quacker? I'm going to call him Quacker because it's a fun name. The only thing he lacks is his jumping reach. And he's not the strongest, but he's very solid. And I think he could play that box-to-box -box role quite nicely. His long shots aren't too bad. He's quick enough to get around. His stamina's the one issue. Actually, stamina's not too bad. I feel like he'd be a worthwhile partner in that period, particularly if he's th free. Let's see if he's up for it. Star player. Oh. Okay. We'll see. Now, he earns 800 currently. They're expecting... Watch him want like three grand a week. Yeah, we might get some knowledge over the Senegalese guys. Right, let's see what this is. Let's see if he'll accept important player, but I think it's unlikely. Oh, okay. That might have just saved us a couple of hundred quid. Oh, fuck me. I hate these. Because your assistant is always, like, the most wrong man to have ever existed. Hasn't he already got international caps? No. That surprises me. He's actually quite decent. So what I might do is pop that down to one and then maybe knock it up to, like, that. Watch him now want, like, three grand a week. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Given the amount of money we actually have. And that extends the contract. I might just, uh... Knock it down to 900. Pop it up like that, maybe. Particularly as he now wants five games. What do you reckon? 900. Three-year deal. So that'll be 28 when he's leaving. Or we could sell him in before that. 
He's unlikely to get five caps for Kosovo in that time, probably, unless he's a belter. The Yorkshire Ripper. He's up there, I'd say, if there was a list to be made. Yeah. Relegation release course. I could have even put that to zero. That I'm happy with that. If we get to... I mean, getting that kind of money would be very nice. I say that's a good deal for us, personally. I'd say that's worth it. We don't want to get too many people. We really can't afford to get too many people like this because we do need to abide by the board's rules. And yeah, exactly. I feel like he'll still be young enough when he's contract is coming to an end that we can actually move him on. Second nationality. Oh, true. Yeah. I don't see him getting capped. I mean, of the three? Because he hasn't actually fully declared yet, has he? Still, I think we'll be okay unless he does something mad. What happens if you get relegated? I mean, you go play in the division that you were in, I guess. Hopefully, that won't happen. Francis Benjamin. This must be one of the guys we're getting knowledge of because of our links in Africa. I mean, there's definitely interesting things happening here. Look at his passing and tackling. Methinks he might play further up the pitch. But I am intrigued by him. I know it's going to cost us money, but very intriguing. Oh, yeah, that may be what it is. We'll see. Awesome. Thank you, Polybius. Yeah, we're doing all right, actually. We're promoted now as champions, which is nice. We're now just sort of planning for the future. He's only 16 here. Oh, it's a regen. Weird. Oh, God. Yeah, no. I mean, even if he's on the higher end of that, that's still not great. But he is in Norway, so we may as well have a look at him anyway. See if we bring him in on trial since he's leaving on a free. This is that Ramsey guy, and his amount of money they want from him has just come down a bit. 6-2. Oh, he's very slow, though. And he's very weak as well. I'm intrigued. I swear we've already tried to scout this guy. I don't know why. I swear I had it set up so that... Yeah, keep scouting until full knowledge, and yet they just don't. They keep coming back to me. Weird. Because I'm fairly certain we've set that guy to be scouted before. And this guy we definitely have. So why are they not scouting to a full knowledge? Or is that what they consider full knowledge? There's no foreign player restrictions as far as I know. Like, as far as... It, there are, but they're kind of a bit obtuse. Yeah, one potential strength is not great, is it? Um... To be fair, Swabin, the first thing I'd say is just kind of treat it like a normal save for the first... Until you've really established yourself. What I would say is when you're picking a team, pick a team that aren't already one of the big sides in those nations. That's really quite key. Because you want to be adding an additional... Pl oh, my God. We can't keep doing this. It's annoying. Can we not, like... Ask the board to adjust our scouting range, perhaps? Just so that this isn't going to cost us as much. Oh, I forgot they've got all this, haven't they? Anything else we could do in here, maybe? Improve youth recruitment? Seems unlikely they'd say yes, but we'll see. This is why I should go to the shop when I'm hungry. Oh, God, what has she got? Is that just like an entire pack of sponge fingers? I rate that. I rate that. I do. Hello, Adil. Uh, where's my button? There it is. Right, okay. So, Zian Jones will leave for now. We'll see what the board say about that. Nelson Belongo. He's playing in Belgium. Is a oh, he's a bit much for us though, isn't he? Oh ho, 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 god! Imagine if we could get him though. Imagine the scenes. Pace is okay. Six foot two actually. Great finishing. Great dribbling. First touch passing. Composure's at least decent. He's intriguing. Not on huge money either. Hmm. Uh, oh yeah, shit. Oh well, I'll do that one. Ahmed Mohammed. Wait. Oh, it's a different guy. Oh, he's got the reversal of the other lad's name. Right, he's at Sarpsborg, so we'll uh, keep an eye on him. No senior affiliate, but it's... <sighs> we could try. I find the board a very... Have we even got that option? We do. We'll see. I mean, maybe they'll let us do it. I always find that with teams like this and getting senior affiliates, like foreign affiliates, could be a bit of a problem. Plus, if we did get a senior affiliate, they may cancel it the moment we go into the top flight anyway. Oh, it's from Rude Union. Begway. Is it Lamont? Ah, no. Like, he might be good, but it just would require so much retraining. Even to find out if he's capable of playing there might cost us too much. I thought his name was Ancient for a second. I think we're starting to get into the territories of perhaps not particularly good here now. Although, 
This Jesper Dorland guy. He was one of the lads at... Uh, oh. The question is whether he's even worth it. Uh, he feels like yes. We've even got an analyst report on him. What do we think about him? No, Iron Brew's one flavor, and that flavor is Iron Brew. Promotion present. Who? What? The, the fingers. Do you even like Oscar Pets and stats? I think we got him, didn't we? Or is that the other guy? It's not like the issue is we can't sign him. Like he would not talk to us, unfortunately. So there's not like whether I like his stats or not, we can't sign him. Um, but he was a decent looking keeper, to be fair. Someone said they had signed him though in their second season as a top flight team. So we should be able to get him maybe once it maybe considers us top flight. Maybe getting a few extra players in might help, to be fair. Yeah, Dorland looks like he's got some potential here. He's not super slow. Six foot two, decent jumping reach, reasonable across the mark. His aggression and bravery are a little bit on the low side, but the question is how much I want, how much they want. So basically, you still will end up in that situation, Swabin. The way you do it, though, to try to avoid it as much as you can is by loaning players to those clubs, giving them signings, paying more than you should do, perhaps for worse signings occasionally, just to keep giving them money. Stuff like that, basically. Oscar Pettersson is a striker. So who was the goalkeeper that we were looking at called Oscar Pettersson? I don't think we ever looked at a striker called Oscar Pettersson. Did we? Oh, him. Yeah, the scout report was, I mean... Like, he's fine, I guess. But I don't think he'd be... Compared to what we currently have... Uh, oh, as usual, it's rating him as a winger. Hang on, let me just have it compared for the strikers. God, that's, that's super annoying. I mean... Sure. But we don't know enough about him. I just don't know what that, like... This is very vague. We need to get more information on him at the moment, and we just haven't got it yet. I swear we put another scout report on this guy, unless it was a different one we looked at. Uh, let's have a look at Dolan. So what do we think about Dolan? I just don't know. He is quite good. I think the goalkeeper was Isaac Pettersson, perhaps. Yeah, that acceleration is very interesting for a ball-playing defender. Passing of 12 ain't bad, and his vision ain't bad either. I'm intrigued to see how much they might be <laughs> cheers his agent well this man's already in my bad books friends well it's good to see that you're interested in signing yes Dorland. he wouldn't be interested in joining tromsa under any circumstances he could be on fire and we were the only ones that had a fire extinguisher and he's not interested jesus so let's put a bid in anyway Watched him now, like, completely be happy to talk to us. That was, um, interesting. Are you having a laugh? A player worth £58,000. Oh, he has got three-year contract. But they've been relegated and he's asked to leave. Are they actually going to get £4.2 million for him? Yeah. Wow, they're on, they are firmly at the lake house, my friends. He did take it personally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Rejected. I mean, we could try and discuss it with him, I suppose. Why the hell not, eh? We just don't have the money at the moment. <laughs> Chat. The holy drink hath arrived. And apparently, so hath the holy chocolate buttons. I'm just saying. Also. Also? There's an also? Oh! Chat, it's multiplying. Oh, I'm a lucky That's man. It. That's it. But I like one of them for mine. Yeah, go for it. You bought them. But that means I get two drinks. You go for it, love. Hooks. Have at it, my... I got... Fuck off. Luca's own. Giant Luca bro. Two brew, indeed. Iron two. Mini mad. Thank you for the follow. Oh, dear. Yeah, I can thank Clippity and I shall. I'm actually not going to bother pushing with that one, but... Oh, okay. That could be useful. Random kid is going to come on loan, although he's a target man. I think Iron 2 is the one there. Iron 2, Electric Boogaloo. Iron 2, Electric Boogaloo. But if he's cheap, yeah, he is not cheap. I'm amazed that they want 4.2 million pounds for him. That is an absurd amount of money for a player. You enjoy. Hey, what are they? Hello there. Hello there. Oh, I'm furious. Thank you for the follow. Oh, sick. I remember having them as a kid. Yeah, My mom would automate try for it. Enjoy your sponge. I'll make about 30 of them. 
Good stuff. That was abuse. Oh, God, yeah. I take it there's no iron brew in the States. It's a bit asking too much, isn't it? He's a very strange one. Very, very strong. To be that strong at 16 is very odd. Great heading, too. Like, he's an excellent target, man. Although he's only six foot tall and his jumping reach is only eight, so... 25 goals is a new team record. I bet it bloody is. Yeah, we're top of the league and we just won it, Polybius. That's the current situation. Brian Brew. Hello, draw dinosaur. Get it, New York, I bet. Is it some Fanta ripoff? How very dare you? Shame. Shame, I say. Was it legal in the States? What possible... Then again, Harry Potter was illegal in the States at one point, wasn't it? Because <laughs> of the E numbers. Oh, okay, fair play. America is very good at banning things that are bad for you, aren't they? It's a weird hill to die on. Oh, God, that is glorious. Hmm. That is glorious. Still don't have our intake. No, no. Well, it's not till, like, February. Right. Let's go. Iron Brew is... I feel patriotic. Just, like, I feel instantly more Scottish just for drinking one sip of that stuff. I haven't had Iron Brew in ages. It's like nectar, friends. It's like nectar. Right, we're getting there. Chlorine in their chicken. You've got to have your chlorinated chicken. Original red Coke. Does anyone remember Tizer? Like old school Tizer. They changed the recipe at one point. Ooh, I've been given a... F that doesn't feel spongy at all. So why... I've been scammed, chap. It's a sponge finger test. They're fine. Bullshit. Not spongy enough. Oh, shit. Not having that. They're the best things ever. Mm. Fucking all wrong. Blasphemy. Oh. There we go. Surely you couldn't ban Iron Brew. Also, surely it can't have that many more E numbers. That is definitely a biscuit. Yeah, I'm full on. This is a biscuit. New York Red Bull. I mean, if they pay me lots of money. I don't really want to lose him, though. Although, the thing is, he's 32. And if I actually... If they, all right, here's a question for you, chat. No, no, not Apple Tizer. A drink called Tizer, specifically. It comes, it's a red bottle. They had an old... Um, they changed the recipe, I think. It does sound a bit like shortbread. Yeah. Um, Toddles95, thank you for the follow. Hope you're well. She's gone full Karen mode. <laughs> so, here's a question for you. Were the right offers to come in for this guy? The one with the red face. That's the one, yeah. Were we to get a good offer for this guy? We have to, surely. Because if we got that amount of money for him at 32 years old, then I feel like it'd be a bit of a no-brainer. See what... Let's respond. Hopefully he doesn't get pissy at me. But to be fair, that was a quite diplomatic solution. I, if he wants to leave, he's allowed to. Hopefully he won't get on my back about that one. Oh, that was me. All right, I was, I was hoping to see what he would say. All the playoffs. Let's see if Kongsvinger don't get promoted. You need to stabilize. I mean, do we though? I don't think we do need him to stabilize. Not Particularly not if we can sign um that guy from Austria. I think he would sit in there perfectly and he'd be a free transfer. Obviously, the guy from Austria wouldn't come until the summer. But then, when does the league actually start? We won't really know, will we? Because... Yeah, but the thing is, we don't know what money we'd actually get. If I Honestly, if they gave us a million quid for him, or I was able to negotiate like a little bit more, I'd be intrigued, personally. I really just want to get to January for... I'd say that at £900 a week... What's Quackers passing? 13 and 12. It's not spectacular, but really, he's not there to play that role. He's there to be our box to boxy boy. I'm hoping he can actually do it. When does it go through? Monday 11th. Okay, cool. So that's that's another signing done. So now we've got ourselves a, a new centre back, the, the Swedish guy. Let's just check future transfers, actually. So we've got Alexander Abramson coming in from Jurgården to play centre back for us. 
I'm okay with him. I still think we could have maybe... Oh, he's so cheap that we kind of had to at this point. We've got Kamakwaka coming in to play centre midfield, box to box. Good. Why does Matt hate Kong? I don't hate Kong's figure. It's just M and... Uh, not M. Myself and uh, Kev from the chat have... He's doing a save of Kong's figure and we've sort of been competing against. That's all it is. Oh. Yeah, th I was expecting that. They never find one. Not when it's, like, um, foreign, it finds. I, I don't suppose they were ever going to find a local one. Okay, apparently Em's just gifted five subs as well there. So there you go. Um, to Andy, Stu Simi, Blackpool, Jack Rost, and Muse Hole. Wow. They oh, my God. And as I fucking say that, Pine coming in with the pitch invasion to, to top it off. How is it going, Pine? How are you finding Andalek life? Hello there. How's the waffles treating you over there in Belgium? Dream trip. Thank you for the follow. Luke the Duke as well. God, that all came in at once. Sub bite for M as well. For donating to it. Yeah, well, you know. We've been raided. The pitch invasion has happened. How are you, man? Hello there. It's nice to see you back streaming regularly. It's awesome. We've missed you. And your dulcet tones. Right. Uh, oh, I thought his name was Dentist for a second there. What is it with us finding these awesome Albanians? Oh, there's 27. We've got to draw the line somewhere. BB Kessel. Thank you for the follow, man. Waffles are lovely. How's it? Things are great, actually. We've just won the uh, Norwegian second division. You know, the biggest league in the world. And we're preparing for next season because they've actually given us money. Imagine that, eh? Money on FM. Oh, dear. From Obro. Absolutely goal getter in the Danish division. I don't know because we're not playing in Denmark, so we don't really have any kind of reference to him at this point. Oh, well, very nice of you, Em. Money. I know. Imagine that. Money. It's crazy. They don't have any money. But they've given it to us anyway. Joe Bell does look interesting, actually. Yeah. Oh, no, he doesn't. He's 1.8 million pounds. Uh, like, as interesting as he may be, I don't think he's that much better than Quacker. Considering we just, like, yeah. Not not too bothered there, actually, I don't think. Here's Tuppence Haven. He survived this season, indeed. That's most of FM. That's basically what Bolton are doing with me. Age is just the number. Someone told me that. Then he got arrested in it. How did you develop a nation? So you build their coefficient up, essentially. Um, but once you reach a certain point, you can loan players to the clubs in the division, sell players at reduced rates, buy players off them at inflated rates, just to try to give them, keep them going, basically. Not going to buy a striker. Hello, I mean, man. we might do. Might not do. It's all up in the air. We've got loads of time to do it as well. Uh, C19 RTA. Thank you for the follow, mate. So we'll, we, he's uh, as good as he might be. We don't really need another guy in this role right now. Although, I mean, I'll scout him. Oh, one more. One more of these. I can't resist, can I? I can't resist. Joe Bell, like, as good as he might be, he's just too expensive. Haldor Stedevik. He's Ooh, He could play deep. Oh, he's inverted. Hang on, what's his weak foot like? Not entirely convinced, but hang on, what's this injury as well? Oh, okay, that's fine. He's playing in Norway, so we can keep going. Vegard Bergen. He's the other centre-back, wasn't he? That's the idea, Hoshiana. Yeah. I will at some point. Yes, Pro New. But there's no real regens in the game yet. So, well, there's a couple. I wanted, I'm want i waiting until there's actually a few more regens before we use it. Because we're still going to have to sort it out at some point. But I am going to use the Z-gens, yes. Yeah, I wish the youth rating was dynamic. But sadly, no. We uh, we don't get that, unfortunately. That would be su that would be a really nice feature. Jan Boller. I wonder if he's related to Jan Koller. There's some interesting German lads playing in Austria. Although the, the wages might be the uh, the problem there. And unfortunately, once again, it's going to be a case of... Uh, we've got to draw the line somewhere. But this guy's surname is Vega. And he's asking to... Oh, well, no, he's playing quite a, uh, a work permit issues. Yeah, something tells me we probably won't get a work permit if Sanderfield can't either. I mean, to be fair, you could build a nation from anywhere, really. The reason I like to pick countries like Norway is because you could at least get some progress early doors. With Portugal, you're starting quite high already, so it'd be very difficult to gain any ground, I would have thought. But then again, with a team like Benfica, what's to say you couldn't, to be fair? They are, considering he's asking to move... Then again, we're not a bigger club than Start, are we? That's the one problem, I suppose. Uh, I think we may have to bin that particular idea off. I want to see if he does move, and if so, how much he moves for. Because what's the betting? He'll leave for like 500k. Not that we could have afforded that either. But he'll probably leave to like 500k to Lilstrom when they come up. Because let's face it. I mean, they come up with us, didn't they? Uh, any players that actually meet our... Other than Ibrahim Asise, very few players even meet our requirements. Although... He's kind of intriguing. If they'd let us loan him next season... 
like despite not having a high star rating, he's not that bad. Six foot five as well. My hands are the shortest too. There's a lot of German lads in Austria. What can I say? I'd be rivals. I don't know. Um, I should have a look at that. No, our main rival is Bodda. And obviously we've got Tromsdal as a local one. Sloget om Nord Norsh Derby against Bodda. So that's really it. He's a big boy. Yes. Must be related. Correct. You have now entered my brain. You know, he's on my long list. He's a long boy. We're seeing a lot of Albanians, actually. Although this guy, I think he's playing in Turkey. So once again, it would cost too much to scout him at the moment. Did the board actually decide about our scouting range thing? I'm trying to see. Oh, they rejected it. Good. Maybe we'll ask them again when we're actually promoted. It might be better. Uh, Bodder are actually very good. They genuinely are. I don't know if they actually end up winning it or not. Yeah, look. They've won the league. Uh, Cameron M, thank you for the follow. That's... Uh, we were just looking at this. They actually have won the league in game as well, which is really surprising, to be fair. I mean, obviously, I know, because it's a surprise in Norway. So the fact that the game has actually been good enough to model that IRL, or rather in the game, is pretty awesome. Did Olsen win the cup? Uh, hang on. So I'm trying to see the best way to get to it. Is it this one? Oh, there is no cup. If this is the one you mean, is this the League Cup? Start have been relegated so you could sign that player from start. Uh, not if they want 4.2 million for him, we can't. Uh, that that was, we were trying that because they were relegated. And that was, that was when they wanted 4.2. So it ain't gonna happen unless they suddenly change their mind. Um, <laughs> are we not? Imagine that. Commercial summary. Okay, at least there's some money coming in there. Here we go. Uh, yeah, he does, Stony. We've had a look at him a few times. God, it's such an enormous step up. That's the problem. And, like, if it was... I mean, look, it goes from 18k a season to £360,000 a year. It's such an enormous step up to go to Scandinavia. That's the issue. The question is, is it worth doing it? HB Send 97, sorry, 79 is continuing the gift sub they got from Duke Nukem. For some reason, that never triggers an alert in Streamlabs, but thank you so much, man. That's extremely kind of you. I'm sorry that there's no pop-up for you. Yeah, it wasn't just 4.2. It was actually a player slot too. I don't know who they wanted. There wasn't a new sponsor on the other screen we saw. Um, so unless they've added a new one. Yeah, 100k now. 4.2 million eventually. Uh, we were about a million in debt currently. We could do it for the month. True. But we'd have to remember. Let me dump on three months worth. Hello? That way it will get us through this transfer period. And that way we won't lose too much transfer funds. Either. Wait. That's fine. Yeah, we'll do that for now. That way it might give us a bit more options. Lavman and Sigbog and Baked Lion as well. Thank you for the follows, guys. They all came through at once. Yeah, but it didn't say anything about like... Oh, we actually have. Oh, we must have got a new one in between. Uh, let's see. Hello there. Sponsorship, 1.4 million. You're right. Yep, yeah, you're absolutely right. We looked at the scouting summary, the, not scout, the finance summary at the end of the season that we had like two days ago, and it didn't mention any new sponsors, but we seem to have one now. Let's have a look. Uh, sponsors and others. I don't know which one it would be. I guess it's all of these combined. But they are for a while. So actually, there's a decent amount of sponsor income coming in. Given that these go on for four years, seven years. It's a decent amount. Interesting. So that's helped us out a little bit. Not too bad. But yeah, so that actually leaves us with... I mean, obviously, this is irrelevant at this point. Because we are still projected to start... Oh! But now this is basing it off of us being in the top flight. Which, of course, has prize money and TV revenue and stuff like that. So in theory... Well, there was TV revenue, I think. Uh, where is it? There we go. So yeah, you do get TV revenue. It's not, not sorry, not not prize. You do get prize money. It's not amazing, but there is like, can we sign that guy from start now? No. <laughs> Why would we do that for four point two million on your bikes? It's a very relaxing focus, isn't it? What is this? Is this loving caliber? It is loving caliber. So oh, Kongsvinger lost to Ranheim. Oh, Arendal. 
Go on, Aaron. Oh, that's not gone well for them, has it? I'd love it if they came up. I would love it. What's for the second tier? Let's, I mean, maybe they'll change their mind once they are officially not in the top flight. But I'll be pissed if he ends up leaving for like 500k. Yeah, no. Uh, the, my weekend streams, are the, the day sometimes changes, Robin. Uh, so it's not always Saturday. It depends on what football's on, basically. So yesterday there was lots of early fixtures. Hang on. Sorry, who? Oh, it's him. How many games did he play for us last year? Actually, did he really? I swear he didn't. Could have sworn I played Moolah most of the time in that wing. The question is, chat, is he actually with is it actually worth us extending this guy's contract? Like, do we really think that it's actually worth us doing? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Arundel is for sure they don't go into the third tier. No, Arundel aren't in the second tier. Because we would have played them if they were. Um, Arundel are obviously trying to come up to the second tier. I assume that's what that one is. Oh, where is it? This one here. I assume this is Arundel trying to get into the second tier. We've cut, We've got a few signings lined up. Season goes well. Yeah, we, we won the league in the end. Um, record points for us as well. El Riddle. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, they're not, it's a bit of a confusing one because obviously the league sort of overlap in many ways. Gets no influence from a mentor group no matter what group I'm putting him in. I don't know actually, Morco. I've not even got like deep enough into it yet to start working on things like the mentoring. I mean, we'll see how much he wants. I mean, why? Obviously, we'll remove that. I, he doesn't want that much, but this I will get rid of. If he actually just sells for 240, then I'll happily keep him around. It's only a two-year deal, so his wage won't go up by that much, even with that. Okay, so he doesn't want that. But we can usually... Screw it. Just... That'll do him. <laughs> That'll keep him appeased. I know. Utter blasphemy. He's only played 24 league games this season. Speculation. Uh, we will decline that, since he's probably about to sign a new deal. He'll be an elite series. I mean, I don't... Will he, though? Hello, Captain Australia. How's it going, man? I'm doing excellent. We've just been promoted. We're now trying to slowly craft a team for next season. But really, I want to make sure that we get into this part first so we actually have an idea of who's going to be staying, who's not. Um, what if they'll let us extend the Azimi? Do we want to extend the Azimi loan, though? Would they even let us at this point? No, they still won't. I, I don't get that. I guess it must be because we're not in a transfer window, but I thought you could do that stuff beforehand. Weird. Anyway, I need a quick pee break, and I'll be back in a moment. Hello there. There we go. That's better. Oh, dear. Right, okay. We can sort of work through this mess of players now. But in theory, because we've got Scandinavia switched on, we can at least... Hit... Oh, he's 30, though. I wish there was better, cheaper options available that were just a bit younger right now because of that, like, 
club vision requirement we've got on us at the moment. Magnus Angbo. Damn. I know his tackling is a bit lacking, but Christ, if he... Be expensive, though. Ah, we'll see anyway. He's a bit cheaper, but 22. Isaac Twum. Cool name. Passing... For a deep line playmaker, he doesn't have great passing or vision. Or physicals, actually. And he's already got two caps for Ghana, which could be an issue. Is there anyone who's under the age of like... Maybe we should put a new scouting focus out that's just like any good player under the age of 20. Since we do need to sign a few of those just to keep the board off of our backs for a bit. Wackims, thank you very much for the follow, mate. Hope you're having a lovely day. Is there a way that you can like set up scouting focuses based purely on the club vision? Like, so it has an option there. Uh, same as always, three o'clock. There actually is. Cool. All right, I'll look at that in a sec then. Oh, he's a Velia. Ah, oh, he's too deep. And also, once again, 24. <laughs> Albania have got some good players around this region. There's some quality Albanians knocking about in Norway and Sweden. He still intrigues me, but not enough because of the situation we're in. 19. He's a striker. Johan Olstad. Finishing's okay. Bravery is woeful. Not that you need to... Oh, his determination is quite low as well. Surprised that really accounts for a balanced personality, but I guess it kind of has to, doesn't it? Also injured. What's his injury? Ah, yeah, no. Long-term injuries, perhaps not, eh? Mm, we're kind of getting into, like, the territories of actually... I've got to pay attention to this as well, because a lot of these guys are probably just because they're so expensive as well. Ah, hang on, here we go. Oh, there's, um... Oh, he's too expensive. He's way too old. Unless he's, like, the best player ever. Oh, look, there's Castrati, the guy we looked up earlier. I mean, I'll take them on trial. We'll see what happens, but most of these guys probably aren't going to be worth it. Machoy Giallo. Um... Oh, yeah, no. I mean, he doesn't play in a position we're using. And I don't think we can even... Yeah, we can't even scout him. Plus, I, again, try to avoid wonder kids or stuff like that because it just bores me. I'd much rather build a team with players we randomly find than... Oh, wow, look at his hair. I mean, if he wasn't 31, I would be very interested. But we'll keep him around for a bit, see what's like. Raul Rodriguez, 32. Yeah, no. This would be... An, I wish that wouldn't pop up. Same kind of situation with Juanjo here as well. Lucic. Oh. He's very interesting indeed. That is... Hmm. Ivan Lucic. I'll decline that. Chance for a free signing like that might be quite worthwhile. Now, obviously, he may drop down once we get more information about him, but that is interesting. Yeah, I don't think he's going to approve anywhere from 32 somehow. Maybe he will. Maybe he'll be a very, 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 very late bloomer. The latest of all the possible bloomers. Iron Brew sponsor a team in the game. I mean, it has to be a Scottish team, surely. Oh, no, wait. Hang on a minute. No, there's a team called Iron Brew Rovers, isn't there? In, like, Singapore or Hong Kong? No, Iron Brew Rangers. That's it. Yeah, Hong Kong. I assume this is the team you meant, uh, Kev. Because I remember seeing these guys when we were doing the Scotland save. Oh, yeah, let's do the scouting filter. Yeah. This is not what well, it is. It says, literally, I just told you, it was Iron Brew Rangers. It's quite clearly them. I have found a loophole in your question, Kev. Don't know why I was searching for them. The logo is in the game. Well, what's the team? But they are clearly Iron Brew Rangers, so you've been trumped, my friend. Oh, extra money. That's not bad, actually. Although, admittedly, we paid out like half that to the players, but it does boost our balance even more, which ain't be, can't be wrong with that. Australia, well, again, we can't scout Australia. We, we don't have scouting range to Australia at the moment, so we can't, like... We could see players, potentially, but we wouldn't be able to see any of their attributes. Iron Brew Rangers coming up. Oh, yes. Two transfer winners in a row. Oh, is that because of takeovers? That sucks. Yeah, let's have a look at this scouting filter situation then. Right. Oh, it's more. Oh, no, it's him, isn't it? There's not a lot of quality coming through here at the moment. We already looked at Br Brinda Singh, didn't we? Although, who's he wanted by? Barum. Mm. Can take him on a trial, I suppose, since he seems to have left his club. That was not the right bloke, is it? I just clicked someone else. <laughs> Queen's Park. Oh, fair play.
that makes sense that it would say that. That why did that one come up above? Oh, whatever. <laughs> that was weird. Hello, gaming Arbiter. Yeah, the whole always amateur thing was pretty cool. I used to think. Oh, I, I learned. I, oh, they accepted it. Well, I'll be damned. Twenty-five in twenty-eight is a remarkably good record. Uh, 33 gold contributions and 30... Well, 27. No, 28 for Azimi as well. Very good. I never want to put my arm around them. I feel like at the time of COVID, we can't even be doing that. Not right now. The Tromsa effect. That sounds like something you'd actually see in science. Yeah, didn't win manager of the year. To be fair, we did only win the league by seven points. So I'm sure they gave it to the team that would just about... Who won manager of the year then? Did they get promoted? Nope, just came fourth. Were they expected to come? Eighth. Hello there. GG, mate, I guess. I suppose we were expected to come top, but it's like... So they were expected to come eighth, they came fourth and didn't get promoted, and he was like, yep, yeah, manager of the year. Feels about right. Iskla, thank you for the follow. But yet when you do that as a player, it always goes to the guy that wins the league. Ooh. Ah. Probably not, unless we got any more information as a result of that, which we didn't. I don't think it's going to be worth it, even though his name's Brinda, which is a cool name. Sounds a bit like Brenda. I've taken this, but I have, and I took that personally. I've been snubbed for too many Manager of the Year awards over my days, my friends. I will not stand for it no more. Right, when we get to this January 1st, it's good. we'll go straight in for that Austrian guy and see if we can get him on a pre-contract. Now, it might cost us loads of money, but we'll see. Yeah, exactly. They just like the fact that he manages Ham Cam. There's pressure from Big Ham Cam. Uh, let's see. Any of these guys are really good. Thomas. Oh, we looked at this guy, didn't we? I kind of feel like... Wait. Hang on. Oh, there he is. Should we try to extend his loan? Or not? These guys didn't even play. That, that that bothers me slightly. Uh, I don't really know, Isklar. We've not actually had that because our season actually started in July this year. So it's because of all the messed up stuff. No, I know. But you can still extend their loans with other clubs by offering them out. And that's why this menu is quite useful. It saves you sorting out the uh, loans later. I mean, Isak Schelsrud Vik clearly did very good here on Lona Alta. I mean... I don't know. I guess they must have been diff wonder why he did so well and he didn't. Matt right now. Oh god, here we go. Exactly that. Although my button apparently is now broken, which is just wonderful. Cheers for that touch portal, you piece of shit. It does this on every stream now. I think there's a memory leak in their fucking software and it's starting to get on my tits. Um, because it does completely break itself every single stream now. I'm gonna have to buy a stream deck. This software's lasted long enough without it, but now we might have to. Um, oh, now it's working. Wait, that was weird. There we go. That was weird. Right, yeah. You know, these were um, these are our players, but we can still, it's just sometimes easier if you feel like they're going to go out and loan again next year to just to extend their loan. So I might, particularly as they're alt, the players that are on Alta, I might get those guys out. As for Dagrismo, he's an interesting one. He is an interesting one. 14-3. Good lord. What were the actual individual matches? Michael Jordan proving once he... Yeah, he is the GOAT, though. Man's just bought a NASCAR team as well. What more do you want? Uh, I'm just going to extend them. Saves us doing some extra effort. Although... Is this this one that glitches out sometimes where it says that they fail to attract interest even though they don't? Yeah, it seems to like refresh them. It's annoying. Uh, Woda, thank you for the follow. We'll move these guys around a little bit. Right, okay. So are we able to offer them interest? Oh, we could get him. Fuck me. Okay, we could get all three of these guys. Sorry, four of these guys. Firstly, though, what do we think? Julian von Horker, I feel like he's worth it. Only 26. Free transfer it would cost us a bit of money. Regular star? Go on, son. You know you want to. Okay, we'll go important player. 
Let's see how much money he kind of wants. Oh, mother of Christ. Surprising that we're, they won't let us off with that much, considering how much money they gave us. They, they clearly want us to sign a lot of players rather than any really good players. We might still be able to make this up in clauses, but I don't want to go overboard here. Oh, I doubt that this is going to happen somehow. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't think we can actually afford him because we can't afford his wages. Relegation release clause of zero. That we can do. I don't think we can afford him. I don't think he'll go for this because even our extension one is still cheaper, less than he wants. And we're already kind of maxed out here. And we'll need some of that anyway. I don't think it'll make much difference. Maybe they'll let us off from a bit more. Mm. If he doesn't accept this, I don't think we've got much choice. Oh, he does. The question is whether we actually do it. Ash, thank you for the follow. Is that worth it, though? That's the question. I'm just not sure. How good is he actually? Wait. For fuck's sake. I love how you either send it, but there's no option to go off of that menu and try something different. Like, shouldn't there be a cancel menu? Or did I just miss the cancel button there too? It depends. His vision's not even that good. Oh yeah, must respond. Yeah, never mind. Um... I don't know if he's worth that amount of cash, though. I don't know, chat. I really don't know. What do we reckon? Is he worth it? Bearing in mind, we do actually have quite a large waste budget. The problem is he wouldn't join us till July. Should we, like, hang on for a bit on him? And hope that he doesn't sign a new contract or something. What about Nelson Belongo, though? He does look like a sort of player I want to sign. Anticipation is solid. Composure is, at the very least, good. Um, decisions, solid. Finishing anywhere from, like, eh, to... Mm. Reasonably quick. Not amazingly fast, but he's 6'2". Heading's decent. Jumping reach is good. Technique's solid. Off the ball. He kind of ticks the boxes really nicely. I quite like Nelson Belongo. Partner him with one of the other lads. He's only 21. Annoyingly, he's not 20, but what can you do? Be fun of the Bolton series. Oh, thank you. Ask the ball for more. The ball won't give us any more. Terrible fitness. Yeah, but free transfer, remember. Also, Norwegian second tier going into the top tier. We can't have the per we're not gonna find the perfect player every single time. Pace is poor, but he's 6'2. Remember. Like, the taller they get, the generally the slower they are, unless you've got the real elite Erling Haaland like players. Or your Jacob Vestergaards, for example. And he would be free. I guess it would depend on how much he wants, wouldn't it, really, once again? 12 isn't that bad. Not for someone who's got a bit of height about them, too. Breakthrough prospect? Surely not. Jesus Christ. He wants a lot of money, and I'm concerned that he might actually get into national caps. Like, we could offer him 3k... Is he nine foot tall? Uh, sadly, only six two. Mm. Oh, the centre mid. Right, okay. I could give him like that, but I just think he wants too much. The, well, the thing is, if he's good enough, I'm happy to pay the three K. But I'm concerned that he might... Hmm. The problem now we've got is that I can't. So if you change it now, they don't like... They will They will just bail. If I tried to set that to five caps now, he'd be like, but we already had a deal. It's more than I would like to pay, and I probably should have knocked the wage down a tad before I tried the international wage clause thing. And he would go up by 200 each time. But, 
bearing in mind, we do still have a decent amount of money around, and he is only on a two-year contract. That's the one thing we do have in our favor. And if he does perform well, which our strikers do tend to score a lot of goals, there's a chance that we could make a decent Wecker change on this guy. I feel like he's the kind of guy that we could sell on for half a mil. Considering they're already estimating his cost at that, for some reason. Uh, we... Uh... We'll just do that. Yeah, we can. Uh, so we'll, we'll compare him to Espy first. Yeah, so obviously you don't have the full, like... The key area is where he's better. I mean, his dribbling is massively better than Espy. His finishing is at the very least three better. His first touch is better as well. Te hang on. Bear in mind, we play advanced forwards. So his passing is a little bit lower. Uh, technique is vastly better. Anticipation's around about the same or better. Composure, again, around about the same or better. Decision's better. Off the ball, better at the very lim minimum. Work rate, around about the same. Slightly quicker as well. I'd say... I'm happy to do this deal. I think he's a good... I think that's a good piece of business. As for Ibrahim Assise, they don't rate him very highly as far as stars go, but I actually think he's got really good basics for playing as a centre-back. He's tall. He's got great jumping reach. He's not, like, horrendously slow. He definitely could have done a better contract, for sure. He's got great standard, like, tackling, marking, heading, real basic bread and butter... Defensive attributes. And in theory, good potential in the future. He's only 19, remember. And bear in mind, this guy would sue our um, club vision. And I think it's very unlikely that we'll get a cap for France. Has he got any other nationalities? He's Senegalese. Uh, well, we could look at the youth side, but we won't be able to scout the players because they would all cost us money for each individual player. And that's, we can't, we've only got Scandinavian on. So we can only scout Scandinavia at the moment. Otherwise, it costs us thousands of pounds per signing. Not per signing, per scouting session. Horror determination. Yeah, it's not great. But again, you can't have every stat perfect. Otherwise, he wouldn't be signing for us. If he was the perfect player, he wouldn't want to sign for a Norwegian second tier side. And there are ways to... Determination is one of those attributes that you actually can see giant jumps in. So yeah, so what happened in the F1 then? I saw stuff about red flags and fires, which sounds bad. Let me see how much he wants. More than anything else, that's probably what Key's right. Yeah, so all we can do is Scandinavia. And lacks determination. I do think that is an issue. The consistency isn't great either. But again, it depends on how much money he wants. A massive crash. Damn. I'll have to have a look at that after. Car like exploded. Shit. As in, did it just do that spontaneously or did he hit something in order for that to happen? Ooh. Tell you what. He feels like one of those deals that we could actually... I know that he's Seneg half Senegalese. So we've got to be careful with this, but... 850 a week for Ibrahim Assise. 19 year old. He fits the club vision. He has definitely got good bread and butter attributes. He's more of a rough diamond. There's definitely some stuff we could do to work on him. But I feel like 850 is not the end of the world. And he can definitely do a job as a backup. I'm not opposed to that. I know obviously we've got signing on fees as well as part of it. And again, these are free transfers. That's the one. Four years. Exactly. Yeah. Four year deal. Chance for, at the very least, there's money to be made. It's going good, Mr. Prager. We're promoted. We're trying to build a team for next season, bit by bit. Good God. That's... That's shocking. Uh, okay, well, that is horrendous. Hope he's okay. I mean, that is... Jesus Christ. Um, Let's do that. What about Zien Jones? He was the last guy I was looking at. I would have liked him to have a bit more pace. But again, it's like... He's a winger on... We play wingers on attack, don't we? Yeah. Let's compare him to what we currently have. We have Lassie Nilsson, who's the guy that plays here mostly. Mm. Yeah, Zien Jones is very, very specific. 
Like, his dribbling could be better, and so could his crossing, but he is a bit quicker, but I don't think he's worth it for me. He's walking to the safety car. Okay, good. That's, that's the most important thing. I think just getting in Belongo and Cisse with potential for someone like Julian von Haak as well is a good start. Wait, what? Or do we just go for it? Do we just say, you know what? This is our year. We're going to go for it and get Yulin von Hawk now. Thoughts? It seems to, Kev. So far, they've both been scoring goals. Um, the plan was originally just find out kind of who performed best and change the other one's role around to make it work. But they both seem to get goals on a not quite equal. One got 25 and one got 20 this season. But that's a fairly even spread. My concern is if we do the walk away thing. Mm. Maximum of nine, and we currently have one. Um, so, yeah. So, there's plenty of room on that one. We've got a lot of leeway, currently, anyway. It's one of these things where, if he is on the higher end of... It's the, the vision is what is concerning me a little bit. A replay? Oh, God. Uh, okay, I don't know if I can show this. I won't show this on stream because of copyright shit, but... And I won't play the sound. But I am... Note, uh, note that I am watching the Twitter clip that Garforth just sent me. Car went in... Oh, my God. Cut in half. Jesus. Oh, it's on the telly. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, obviously I can't see the telly. Oh, I, I see stuff happening. Or is that just the cars hitting? Jesus Christ. Well, yeah. I mean, that is a, that is a bastard of all shunts there. I'm worried if this is going to be a mistake. It's weird that he's playing in like the Austrian lower tiers and yeah, he's this good. And I don't... What's the cons as well? We'll hold off on this guy for now. Uh, I'm going to walk away. I know this will probably break it, but I'm going to walk away. I wish there was a way that you could sort of just back away slowly so they don't notice. Okay, good. I'm happy to let that happen. Nicholson as well. Starbill, I don't see him actually playing for us just yet, but I feel like oh, he, he needs to build up his physicals a little bit. In a couple of seasons, though, if he carries on developing nicely, he could actually be useful for us. They want to pay nothing. I think that might have been what they were already paying. Fuck it, whatever. Let's get him out on loan for a bit. Yep, pay his entire wages. That's fine. Homegrown players. That's Oh, a few more of those are going to count. But we've got tons of those right now, so that's not an issue. Yeah... We'll leave that for now. It's rejected the you were there last year, weren't you? So we all right, whatever. <laughs> None of them want to go to Alter, except him. He wants to go to he wants to go to Floria. That's fine. Oh, uh, what? Um, do we have a different opinion now that Mainz are after him? Does that not suggest that he's slightly better than perhaps Hello? maybe they can see more than we can, and maybe some of these are on the higher end? Dear dear, thank you for the follow. Name of the band? It's uh, The Midnight, I think. Uh, it's... Yeah, it's called River of Darkness by The Midnight and Time Cop 1983. So I'm scouting for Oh, yes. We'll do that in a sec. Um, so, yeah. Again, if minds are interested in this guy, that makes me think that perhaps he might be on the higher end of these. So maybe we should reconsider our um, offer and maybe actually go for him. He does have a really... He's really slow, but he might be... I just don't know. Steve, wait, Steve Opapats. Thank you so much for the, uh, the subscription, my friend. It's four months Twitch Prime. That's awesome, man. He would have gone to Mike's anyway. Oh, I mean, we don't know until we try, do we? Yeah, that shit annoys me. It's like, uh, so you, yeah, you can't back out without them just, uh, well, whatever. Oh, maybe we have the chance now. Because I feel like Sivertson might actually be a worthwhile loanee to get back again. 
if they'll let us. No, okay, cool. <laughs> Cheers. Um, and I assume it'd be the same with Azimi. Not that I'm super bothered if we are to. Oh, actually, no. They... Do you reckon it would be worth getting Azimi back if it's only a thousand a week just to have him here again, given that he's done well? Clag of Vertering Cahoots. Oh, yes. They're, they're, so, they're like coloring the water. Oh, thank you for coming by, Clip. It's always nice to see you, man. Because it's only an optional future fee. They only expect him to be a regular starter. I do wonder if kind of having him here, considering he's got goals for us. A turn off the loan cannot be terminated thing, so we could get rid of him if he just never played. Hmm. Because that would mean that we'd at least have two strikers for the first half of the season. Oh, it still won't let me fucking do it. What is this just broken or something? What about if I remove this? It's just not it just doesn't work. It's because we're not in the transfer window, but then what's the point of it then? Like, you can still... Uh, the whole point of... SI made a big deal about the fact that you can arrange loan deals before transfer windows. And yet, it doesn't seem to let you a lot of the time. But yeah, it lets you actually arrange the deal, but then you just can't click either of the buttons on it. That doesn't make any sense to me. Right, it's January 1st now. Let's see if it works. What, you were willing to do it yesterday, you mugs? Okay. Brilliant work. Terrific stuff. Uh, okay, so he's expired. These are all players that are either too old or just too not good enough anymore. Release 11 players. Trump's a contract. Okay, that's for next season. We'll take a look at that off stream so I can sort of work through that. I'll let the Doff handle this. Which one's the Doff? Where is he? Where's the Doff? Okay. And then I will work on the Doff myself. 1,400 a week. Oof. If he'll just accept his same wages as before, that would be nice. Just stick with what you're at, mate. Know your role. We might have to go through and do a deeper dive into staff at some point too. But for now, ooh, let's have a look at that as well. Lone players are back. So to be fair, there's some decent quality in here. So what about Sivison? Are they going to... Maybe they'll loan him back now. Nope. Okay, cool. Nope. When's the league ending? The league has ended. Okay, so that's, that doesn't matter to us, of course, because... We're not in the... Oh, God, we are losing money so quickly, though. It's actually ridiculous. Why are you in a coat? It's huge. Yeah, but it's a coat. It's designed to be huge. Makes you look... What are you talking about? Chat. M's new coat. Thoughts. I think it looks nice. I think it looks fine. I mean, it's a bit... Well, I mean, yeah, it's a coat. Coats are supposed to be big. If they weren't, you wouldn't... People couldn't get in them. Oh, okay. But what size is it? A 10. Could you not just return it and get an 8? I don't know, because my dad bought it. <laughs> Looks very warm, exactly. It is very warm, but it does think it's huge. We tried our best, chat. We tried our best. When is Euston take? February. So, next month. But we won't get there for a while. That'll be in the next stream, I imagine. Okay, well. Hmm. Okay, so some of those signings, they don't come until the 11th. Do oh, that's fine. We can adjust the budget. It's only a little bit for the signing on bonus. Definitely worth doing. Who are you? I do like these lists. Not these lists. These like little news articles. Because sometimes they do actually find you really good players. He, I mean, he could be literally any number of things. It's weird that it's, it's a very strange player to be linked with. Particularly if we know little to nothing about him and can't scout him anyway. Coats are supposed to, huge coat gang. Exactly. Gallag it's very, yeah. When she's going outside in the sunshine. Mahoney with the Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, Mahoney. That is awesome. Sub hype to you, my friend. I hope you are well. Oh, okay. So Belongo's done. Belongo is over the line. He only just signed him. And obviously, we'll have to move a little bit of money over here. That's fine. So that'll be Belongo and Cissé coming in mid-season two. So we do have to bear that in mind. Hey, well, if we... We got Belongo. We got Belongo. I'm glad with that. But we've got to remember that those guys don't join until midway through the season. Hello. Is there a big amount of I mean... Should we sell this clause, chat? I feel like now might be a good time to do it. I mean, how much conceivably is this guy actually going to leave for? Really? 
Bear in mind, we get 15% of it. So in order to get that, he'd have to leave for like a million quid anyway. I know he's only 20. But we could probably do with the cash. I know we wouldn't get that much of it. But 105k now would be pretty all right, I'd say. Gives us a bit more money to work with when we kind of need it most. He's only got one year left on his contract as well. I'm concerned that he might leave. We have to come back to that. Did he just sign a one-year deal? God, he really... Uh... We probably will sort him out a new contract, though, because I do like the lad. Leave it? Yeah, but, like, to, to what end? It's only 15%, so we'd have to leave for, like, a million quid in order for us to get even the amount of money they're offering to begin with. So, like... Plus, we might end up getting money later when we don't need it as much as we do now. What transfers have we done? So we've done... Who have we got? Uh, that's from last year. We want future transfers. So we, you saw us do it at Kaka and uh, Abramson. We've got uh, Nelson Belonga coming in from a, a team in Belgium. We like him. And we've also got Ibrahim Asisa coming in from Ghent. Just because he was relatively cheap. But they're both free. Is he playing? Uh, let's have a look. Yes, relatively regularly. Uh, if he's from Ajax, then we can't scout him. So, because we can't scout outside Scandinavia. Like, he is playing, but he only has one year left on his deal. I mean, I don't suppose they just randomly let him go. But he'd need to leave for like a considerable amount of money in order for us to actually get even the amount that they're offering us right now. We'll leave it for a bit. I don't remember putting a bit in. I must have actually hit that yes button sometimes. Hello there. Hello there. Skakash, thank you very much for the follow. So that's when a load of players are actually going to be joining us. There's a few more in there too, I think. Or is that players leaving as well? Oh, yeah. There's no way he would have... Um, ask Aiden about... Uh, sorry, ask Agent about availability. Ask who's Agent. He, he doesn't play for us. And we're not signing him. We're potentially going to... Like, yeah... So yeah, he's gone. That was inevitable, to be fair. Five grand a week. We were never going to be able to pay that. And I feel like had we even put that bid in that we did, he would have never signed for us anyway. It does make you wonder, though, if they saw some, if he was really on the high end of all of these. And that's why Mites were interested. In oh, well. We weren't going to win them all, were we? Hopefully, we can still find some. Oh, Elias Solberg. Someone mentioned him, did they not? Free transfer as well. Screw it. We'll take him on trial if we can do. Same with this guy, actually. Jakub Romo Skila. 19 as well. Kabiru Balogun. Right sided player. Dribbling could be good. Actually, dribbling could be all over the place. Yes, we got promoted, Mandar. Uh, we won the league in the end. Did it on the same day, actually. We wrapped up the promotion and the. Oh. So now Oscar Peterson's out of contract. Let's get him on trial then. Why the hell not, eh? Yeah, so we lost our starting left... Well, one of the... Starting left back and a starting striker. One of them, anyway. Uh, we got SB back, so that's not a problem. Ooh. These guys are both out of... Why are they still got... Or is that just because that's not up to... Wow. I'll see if I can offer them trials. You never know. They might say yes. The rest of these guys aren't looking spectacular. I mean, some of them are good, but the, the money's the issue on a lot of these players. Coligo? We don't really... I mean... Finishing is only a nine. Not that that held SP back that much. 2-0 Southampton. Are you serious? Wow. Who scored the goals? Yeah, a lone striker for six months wouldn't be the worst idea, to be fair. Who's he under bid for? Yurtaborgs. Oh, it's a different Yurtaborgs, though, isn't it? It's not um, IF. That's uh, GAIS, isn't it? I think. But we'll offer him a trial anyway. Some of these guys are a bit too old. That's the problem with those guys. We might just bin a lot of these guys. Because, like, it's weird how they rate some of these guys quite low, but I'm guessing it's because of the wages they would demand, plus some of the transfer fees that we were requested in order to get the deals done. I haven't really found us that many good deals so far. There's a left back. Once by Sanders Ulf. I think he's probably a bit below us right now. We've got plenty of time to do more scouting, of course. Ward Prowse with a free kick. Top bins. Classic. Wow. Fair play. 
Will Prowse is having a bloody good season. M will be most happy because she brought him into her fantasy team this week and then left him on the bench. So that, that all have gone down well. They've actually accepted them. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So Mushitu wasn't about that life, apparently. On his head be it. Have a little look at these guys. Who I support? I'm a Fulham fan. Did you get the striker? I don't know. Which striker was that? There was a lot of strikers batted around. Bold FM, thank you for the follow. I mean, if this was him, he's he's fine, I guess. But we wouldn't be able to play him here or here. So we'd have to play here. And I don't think he's better than what we already have. See what's up. Oh, he's only 16 as well. He's an intriguing one. What about Krusnel? Oscar Krusnel. Interesting again. Pre-recruitment meeting advice. These are contracts. We, we've been over this. Oh, let's see if this actually works this time. Oscar Pettersson. He's not great. Like, I mean, he's not better than either of the strikers we currently have. Some minor burns on his hands. Wow, at least he's all right. Santa's elf. It, Santa's elf. So, let's try the recruitment meeting for once. Let's actually do it this time. So, where, well, this is an area where we absolutely need to. Uh, so they want a DLP, central defender. I love how they've ignored the left back spot here. Um, where else do we really need? Did they not select right wing either? Nope. Okay. Another area I feel like we need to walk into. 45 minute pause. Damn. Backup striker. I mean, if I'm going to get a backup striker, I still want them to be sort of of a reasonable level. I just don't rate him that high. How much money does he normally want? Because that will matter a lot, actually. Like, he's one of those players that, yeah, we maybe could come back for him, but it's not really the top of my priority list at the moment. Uh, yeah, let's have a look. Let's see what they reckon. Wow. Imagine that. They found players I have on trial. How creative of them. Improve on Nelson Blogger. Uh, we want to improve on a player who has yet to sign for us. Also, how is he better? I guess it's because he's better because he plays in more positions. But other than that, they're they're absolutely mad. Big Chris won. Thank you for the follow. Tyler Smith from Sheffield. I never heard of him. Uh, well, this is useless. Oh, that's our current player. All right, never mind. That's the the low player. Sorry, I'm I'm not used to these menus. Let's see the reports. What have they got? It's Fred Friday again. Oh, Fred, how is it going, man? If only you would actually talk to us like you would last time. His finishing isn't great, but he does have a great set of physicals. Okay, cheers, his agent. We'll, we'll scout you at... Oh, no, we can't. Three grand. Yeah, hell no. Stefan Lee Skolovic. I think we looked at him before, didn't we? Four from Sarpsborg. Good finishing. Physicals are okay. They're not, like, amazing. But he's reasonable. Asian availability. I don't really want to be spending money on a striker that's like, eh. 900 a week, though, is not too bad. I might add him to the shortlist. We can come back for him later, perhaps. My Tour Traore. Uh, well, he's not got a club, so we can free transfer. Selko Dimitrov. Again, same thing. We'll offer him a trial. Simon Hammershaug at Stromskoset. Finishing looks very strong. What about agent availability? Wow. He wants very little money, but they want lots of money. He's not even registered. We'll have a look at him as well. And Sylvanus Nimely from Liberia. Ooh. Cool name. <laughs> yeah, four grand a week. Um, that's going to be a no Sylvanus. You just join the rest of the Sylvanian family and um, forget this ever happened, shall we? That was too much for me. Maybe a loan option, perhaps, yeah. We could try and loan Fred Friday. Let's move on. So, we've got him. Other reports. What else we got? Elias Anderson. Yeah. Something tells me we might not get him. Unless he's like a loan player, perhaps. But I think he's probably going to... He's going to get game time for serious, isn't he? Like, I don't see... How he's going to be an option for us. Unless they're willing to loan him to us. Two 
They want us to pay. Mm -mm. They want us to pay 1.4 million to loan him for a season. Yeah, no. That's a big no from me. Uh, yeah, we'll have a look at those players in a minute, but we've got to get through this recruitment meeting first. Yeah, I don't know what they're even doing. Is it because he's on our shortlist or something? 1.4 million to loan him for a season. Yeah, I'd rather eat my own face. Yeah, that's just some FM nonsense right there. Andy Candy, great name. Thank you for the follow, mate. Well, we'll just acknowledge that for now. Remy Valta, we might be able to offer him a trial, though. I wish these guys were a bit younger so we could meet that. Um, your old teammate, awesome. Well, I'll trial them anyway, but the problem is they're just... Considering the board have a set of club vision principles that they want us to abide by, they're sure good at not recommending players that actually fit those fucking criteria, aren't they? Not one of these guys is in that range that they actually want us to sign players in. Would you shave it? Yeah, you got to shave your face. Hey, Andy. Hamburger. Nice. I'm, a, I'm more of a St. Pauli man myself. Tim Pot. Thank you for the follow. All right, let's move on. Central defenders. Okay. Anyone good this time? As if a guy from Bodur would join... Free transfer. Good Lord. Where the fuck did that... Oh, I know this guy. That's the guy that they got from... What? That doesn't even make sense. Oh, no, I know, Mr. Progress. Sorry, it's just that we're doing the recruitment meeting right now and you can't go off of the meeting without ending the entire thing, so I need to get through it first. Who am I? I'm Matt. Um, but we are managing Tromsa at the... Ooh. Which part of that is 0% compensation? You useless scouts. So we can't offer him a contract. So where's the compensation then? <laughs> yeah, sorry, Andy. Uh, yeah, no, we're, we're managing Tromsa. Um, so this is bollocks then, I guess. Are my scouts like completely useless? What are they basing that on? But it's a report I've just been given right now. It's weird that they're bringing it up at this point, considering this is supposed to be the recruitment meeting, not a... Is our scout... Oh, really? I didn't know our chief... Wow, that's weird, because we actually brought the chief scout in ourselves. Oh, I'm loving it, Andy, to be honest. It means they'd accept an offer of zero. Well, clearly they wouldn't, would they? <laughs> I mean, we, we made that very clear that they would not accept an offer of zero. They want 400 grand. So I don't know what that's about. I'm going to just keep scouting him anyway. Oh, it's Mr. Dortmund man from before, who we decided wasn't very good back then. Vincent Picana, 28 years old, 25 years old, just random older player. Oh, he's just, if you were just a tiny bit younger, you'd fit the bowl. We'll offer you a trial. Why the hell not? Ari Liefsen at Stromsgosset. Besim Serbacic at Rosenborg. Ah, a man who is finally fitting the role, the, uh, oh, we can't offer him a trial. And we can't scout him either, can we? Nope. They must have signed for free. It's just weird that my scouts and this meeting in particular are suggesting things that don't even make sense. It seems that this is just presenting old scout reports to you that you already knew about rather than anything new, which is kind of the... Well, I'm interested to see what they recommend for players that we've added to this list ourselves. So let's have a look. Right back. Okay, cool. Uh, Isaac Carlson. Thank you. Finally, a player that's not... No. Oh. Offer him a trial, I guess. And there's Glenn Walker. I want to offer you a trial, Glenn. Particularly as he's now without a club. Kurtulus. Try you get it. Ooh. Mondrasness at Viking. There's no way they let us have him. Tracy I thought it said Tracy Murray for a second there. Tracy's a cool first name though. Ali Iqbal. But again, too old. Hmm. Lightburns at a suspected broken rib. That's insane. Hard or easy? I don't know. It depends, really, on your experiences. I think that kind of depends on the person of, or how you play FM in many ways. Other. <laughs> Just got randos here now. Good. Another player that's too old for your expectations. A guy that we already looked at. Who, to be fair, I don't mind. But let's see if we come on trial now. Marion Kosic. Isak Diebvik at Wallersund. He's interesting. Why can't I... Oh, he's fully scouted. Okay. 
Crossing and dribbling are okay. He's very slow for a winger. Let me guess. He's one of those ones that aren't actually a winger. Oh, no, he is. He's not really the type of winger we need. Although he's definitely better. I'll put him on the shortlist anyway. Stanley Amuzi. Ooh, cool name. But not good enough. We know nothing about you, but again, too old. Too old. Too old. Mm. I'm not sure, you know. Fullback left. See if they've actually got anything at all for us. What? So what was the fucking point in me adding them then? If they're just going to... Okay, well, that was a waste of fucking time. <laughs> that was literally the biggest waste of time. Um, because all they did was recommend players we'd already seen. And then ignore the ones I'd added anyway. Well, at least we're going to get some trial ease potentially. See if there's any of these guys fit the bill. But we would have literally gained exactly the same amount of knowledge by not doing that meeting. So I, that was what I suspected the recruitment meetings were going to be like when they added them to the game. I kind of figured they were just going to be meaningless flavor text. I suppose, yeah. But I feel like all the guys they showed us were nothing new. So if that's the case, what's the point in the recruitment meeting when you could just use the scouting center? Anyway, uh, Ovin Magnus says he's here for a while. We'll see how he does. Uh, Carlson, again, similar story. He's interesting. 6-1. Very quick, potentially. Okay. Not a fullback, obviously, but potential there, I'd say. Traore. My Traore. Hmm. Intriguing again. Yeah, I think I'm going to start bypassing them. Two-week draft for full information. I've had them for four weeks and not had full information before. And to be fair, you could just bin them off anyway at that point. Um, Zlotnik. Hmm. Where is he playing? Oh, it's good passing, actually. Okay. Jones. Oh, we actually got him this time. Wow. That surprises me. No, no. I, I've never I never played with the same teams, Andy. I find it a bit boring. So I tend to do a different save every single save. I think the only time I've ever repeated saves is with Fulham, which is my team, or with um, Uniao de Madeira in Portugal. It's quite a lot of options. Wow. He's interesting. There's some good players in here. We'll just ignore this for now. We need to get more information on these guys, but there's definitely something here. Hmm. Oh, I know you can just ignore them, but then you may as well just not bother going to the meeting, and I kind of will just in future, because it'd be cool if, as a result of going to the meetings, it would suggest you some extra players, perhaps, that you hadn't scouted yourself, but it seems that it doesn't do that, which is a shame. Uh, really, but that's just how it goes, I suppose. Hopefully they didn't just give them loads and loads of extra money. Hello, Shadow. So this is when the new boys will join, or the, the first set of new lads, so we can see if they were actually worth signing. A few guys will be leaving as well, of course, but mostly it's those are just players that don't matter too much. So we came up with Lilstrom and Ranheim, so Kong's vigor did not go up. James or Prowse go. I, uh, I don't know if I can even play that. Oh, no, it won't have sound on it, will it? It should just buff play automatically. So, someone told me he got both of them. Oh, dear. Is he just me or did it look like De Gea or whoever's in goal for United should have had that? That looked a bit soft. Still a good strike because it's, you know, Ward Prowse is a hell of a dead ball taker, but it seems like it was a bit of a soft one. Maybe it was just the angle I saw it. Yeah, I mean, I tend not to play with my... I, the only time I've ever played with Fulham, I've done two saves with them ever. Um, Just... Oh. Yeah, I figured this guy... He's got some... He's a weird one. Strangely, like, he's very aggressive and brave. He'll bite your face off, but he's not actually that good of a striker, to be honest. He's just very strong and aggressive. Fairly ambitious, though. Oh, better I got the first. Okay, fair play. Yeah, I couldn't... Maybe it was the wrong angle. Plus, it, I was watching it in, like, the small picture, because if I put it uh, full screen, it would have turned the sound on, and then Sky would be like, rah, with their copyright bots. Right, here we go. So that's going to open and get these new guys in. Yeah, Man United losing 2-0 to Southampton is not ideal for them, is it? I'm yet to see why this guy's so great. But hey, I'm prepared to be wrong. Um, but he, however... Oh. He's great because... We could play him as a box-to-box. -box. We could play him as a deep-line playmaker if we really had to. He's just very solid across everything. I like him a lot. Yeah, so what's the scouting focus then, Vi uh, Vaughn? We were going to do this, and we haven't actually got around to doing it yet. So how do we do that then? 
Because there's this, but like, yeah. Ah, I see. Cool. <laughs> Imagine if he found a player in this that was over 20. I probably should just, otherwise the game might shit itself. Right, let's do that. Hang on one sec, Wolfie. Sorry, we have... Oh, I thought, I thought it was in the player requests list. Hang on. Uh, Sylvan KM... Oh, there he is. Oh. Well, I mean... <laughs> there he is. Uh, he's not actually currently got a club, sadly. The... I love that they're sponsored by the Stock Exchange. Yeah, 90 would have made more sense, actually, wouldn't it? Be weird if he found someone that fitted the uh, thing who was older than that, though, wouldn't it? Let me just put that 19 anyway. Oh, well. Oh, wait, no. That's just... We'll wait till that comes back around again. Although... No, we'll, we'll wait till we get a proper report through. Awesome to add three. I think one of those was from us, though, wasn't it? They're expecting playing time but that's not likely to be getting much of that preseason meeting we're going to ignore that because those meetings are oh we don't we don't we can't we're not allowed are we fuck's sake um dom with the six month resub sub hype to you my friend how are you yeah imagine if you find someone that somehow fits it or the game thinks he fits it uh he's not wow he's actually quite good at 17 to be fair Hello there. I don't think he's going to get game time for us, though. So maybe a loan spell is not the worst idea for him, in fairness. Uh, Comrie, thank you for the follow. I might accept that one, to be fair. So we have to do the meeting, which is a nightmare because they are all going to be pissed at me no matter what I say. Top half? What? I have two... What are you talking about? We've been promoted. And they want us to finish... Do they want us to finish top half? Or is this just the game shitting itself again? Wing back. Hmm. He probably, I mean, he could do a job. He's got good crossing for a centre midfielder. Ben Hutton, thank you for the follow. So either that means that our uh, club vision is that they want us to get top half, which firstly might explain the extra money. I haven't seen the Messi goal tribute. Okay, that's fine. So now then, I'm fine with that, providing though that the players actually respond because the only choices I have are top half or top half. What? Hello there. Hang on. Sorry. Welcome back, everyone. I've had a chance to think over the last few weeks, and I think I wasn't being ambitious enough in our last meeting, because obviously I said avoid relegation. All of you give 100%. There's no reason we can't finish in the top half. And the other one is, welcome back. I hope you had a good season. I hope you're ready to finish in the top half. Okay. I hate them. I hate them. I actually despise these new meetings. They take longer as well because the buttons are all moved all over the shop. I can't stand them. That's probably just my personal opinion on that one, though. Um, Triplia and Twitch won. Twitch won't help me. Thank you for the follow. Hopefully Twitch will help you. Uh, well, this is a band called The Midnight. Um, technically, it's not really copyright free, but they've said it's allowed to be played on stream. So it kind of works the same way. Oh, dear. Those meetings are really... They, the meetings are worse than before. They look nicer, but they're worse to use as far as from a player's perspective, and they are super annoying. Um, it's way harder to actually navigate them without pissing everybody off a lot of the time. Right, yep, Lonus Lisha. Hmm. I mean, he's in Denmark, so we can scout him anyway, so we'll get a little bit more of an idea about him. He's on a free transfer, so we'll just uh, offer him a trial. You don't really play in positions we need. Another guy from... Nor oh, Norgeland have a new badge. I only just saw that. That's cool. And that's just a different club. Yeah, no, I've got... Um, it's mostly... Most of the music on this playlist is Harris Heller. But there's a few... Uh, there's some stuff by The Midnight and Gunship on here as well. As well as some other stock music bands that I've used in videos. So I know that it's, like, completely applicable. Rasmus Rosenquist. Oh, is that... I'm still intrigued by this guy. Although he, mm, he's very slow and not very strong either. He's a, a... It's a very strange combination of attributes, actually, as it goes. This guy is Iraqi. That's cool. Hello there. 
Dudiness. I thank you for the follow. Hope you're having a lovely afternoon. Hmm. This gets really quite eh quite quickly. They're bringing me quite a lot of poor quality pla These, To be fair, most of these guys aren't most likely related to our um, scouting focus just yet. Because obviously we've only just set it. We'll acknowledge those for now. From Hamburg. Uh, I think... Well, we can't scout Germany, so we won't be able to know if he's any good or not either way. We're only allowed to scout Scandinavia at the moment. And that's costing us enough money as it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of the meetings. Maybe some other people find them better than I do, but just not for me. It feels like one of those things that just complicates things and doesn't actually make it any more fun. And after all, it is a game. Oh, shit. What? It's non-negotiable. Surely I can just stall it. We'll just stall it for now and deal with that later. <laughs> Move a couple of these guys. Oh, that's why we didn't see him. Wait, he must have seen him because he was in the bloody... Oh, I don't know. Right, so... So we can only have five subs. Oh, shit. That's actually quite a big drop down, isn't it? Hang on. So yeah, all oh right. So that's what it was. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Right. Now that makes more sense. Now, come out play for more three clubs. That's fine. These are the same. New transfer windows, of course. That's that's fine. We'll be fine. All right. Now we're finally moving over to the new season. Yeah. I normally just like to stall them anyway. That way, it gives them less time to do silly nonsense later. That is a. I'm amazed. What do they actually consider to be mid? I wish that it would tell you what that actually means. Is there like a, is there like a preview? That's interesting, actually. They consider us so good, considering we've not even signed all the best players yet. No, no, it has to be Scandinavian League. So the players, if they're German and play in Scandinavia, we can scout them. If they're not, then we can't. Well, we can, but it just costs us loads of money and it's not worth it if we don't know if they're going to be any good or not. Uh, like, we can scout players from outside Scandinavia. It just costs, like, £3,000 per scout. And we don't have the money for that right now. Uh, let's see. Oh! The irony of me saying that just as the board have gone, you know what, we'll let you off the leash. Okay, so now we can scout anywhere in the world, apparently. Well, there we go. That was good. Extra cash there, nice. Who do we start off against? Oh, Mulder away. Uh, we're not going to do that right now. There's no point in deciding a squad yet. The next game isn't for 81 days. Surely we don't have to respond now. We do? Why do we have to pick a squad now? Hang on. So if we can make changes now, why do I need to submit it? As long as players don't get pissed at me for leaving them out, that's fine. Um, as long as they don't get, like, annoyed, then I'll take that. Why do we get two of them? I'm so confused. Why was there two news articles with the same thing in it? Weird. Yeah. No, as long as I don't get annoyed. My worry with those is that sometimes you don't leave people... You don't put people in. Ooh, that's good, though. They've upgraded the... The scouting range being upgraded is very nice. That is super nice. Because that's going to cost us way less money. First season went well. We got promoted. Won the league. All was pretty good, to be fair. So... Have they moved the game? Oh, no, we, we've gone a forward a day, haven't we? I'm still I'm still wondering if we should get cash in on this deal now because I don't think we're... By the time we get the money, if he does move, then we won't need it as much as we do now. Whereas I think right now, particularly with quite a high expectation from the board, we probably do need to just get the players in. How much money have we got left? Of course, I moved more money across, didn't I? So we've actually got plenty more cash left for more signings, to be fair. So that's pleasing. Don't think there's any more coming in just yet. That is looking pretty solid. Most of this is staff, unfortunately. Oh, no. To be fair, most of them weren't on large money anyway, so it actually doesn't affect it that greatly. And a lot of them are really low-paid staff, it would seem, anyway. So it's not too bad. Right, yes, of course it is. Yes, what am I saying? Uh, we will save the game here. I really need to turn autosave on. Because otherwise, one of these days, we're going to get a crash, and it is going to be the worst fucking thing. Right, let us see who is streaming some Football Manager. I did see... That Clates was streaming. I hope he still is. Uh, oh, he's gone. God damn it. I was hoping that Clates was streaming. I was going to raid Clates. Um, let's do... Who should we do? Who should we do? Who should we do? Uh, ooh, this is a tough one for me now. Let's do... Hmm. Yeah, I've got to go record a... Uh, 
Bolton video immediately now. So that's going to be fun. Oh, I know. Let's do salt and pep. He was the referee during the ca the charity cup uh, game that I played in a few seasons ago uh, in real life, which was really, really fun. He was the referee in the game. So hopefully I've spelled that right. We're going to rate him. So, if you fancy some more FM content, do go over and check him out. Uh, all, but by all means, of course, ask him what his favourite flag is. This is the important question you must all know by now. Uh, thank you so much for coming, guys. Thank you for the gifted subs, the uh, follows, everything. Subs, you're all legends. I will see you on Tuesday, and we'll get dug into this transfer stuff properly and finally get some games out of the way. So I'll see you guys very, very soon. Thank you so much for coming. Hold your gun. Capybara. Bye-bye.